Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome everyone. This is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. <laughs> Somebody in on um, YouTube. Again, it's a very common thing. Yeah, it's more of a YouTube problem almost. <laughs> um, they're saying, oh, the, the graphics on Galagon, I can't read them. They're all liney and weird looking. It's like, and, and Luckily, there's a big enough fan base now that somebody already answered the question Thank for God, me. Thank God, we got our great. people. Um, and he said, oh, you have to look at it 60 frames a second. Make sure you're set to 60. Um, because the Atari 2600 is a 60 frames a second um, machine. But not just because of that. It's because it uses tricks to be able to That's do, right. you know, kind of high resolution graphics um, and different types of graphics. So you have to be watching at 60 frames a second for most of the games, some of the games. Some, some don't use that trick, some do. But yeah. um, it's good to watch that anyway if you can because you'll, um, you'll get it how we are broadcasting it. And I want to welcome everybody to the show. Um... Not many people chatting today. That's okay. Though. That's okay. They were still watching. Got Repentless, VG, Jesus, or Jesus 98. Jesus Atari, 98, yeah, man. Uh, Thrust 26, and Splendid Nut, and Trey, Trey Guy snuck in at the last second. Um, Jesus 98 uh, has a game today that we're going to be playing. Oh, that's very exciting. Uh, second game. Uh, the first one is Mid Space by Atari 2600 Land. Cool. Uh, brand new game. Uh, and the second one is Laser Keyboard. Uh, by Jesus Jimenez, Jim, Jimenez, um, aka Jesus ninety eight, and the third one is Peril. Ooh, that we have played, but long, long time ago. I, I might not have, have played it. You may not have played it. Um, we'll it's by uh, VHZC, <laughs> whose games we. I love it. Lots. Dude, I'm gonna get games. my ass kicked. These Possibly. games are always intense. Yeah, really. Intense. It, it'll be good though. And so James, we'll, James was pulling out like things some from controllers. The, yeah, we will, we will get to those in a second. Stuff. Um, yeah the uh, the P peril game we played like his first release of it, and we oh. just never got back to it. And he released a couple more uh, editions of it and added more levels to it. But this is a long time ago, and I thought, oh, well, we haven't played that in a long yeah, time. He's for sure in, like, my top ten developers, oh, man. Like, yeah. His like, every creativity. game is so interesting. Yeah, it's so, so he's good. one of those people I'm so happy that exists, and I don't know, yeah. like, <laughs> I, I didn't know about him, like, a year ago. <laughs> and right. now he's, like, a, feels like a mind. part of my, like, you know, my ethos. That's right. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers as well. Uh, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, Scum Software, Sir Cat Legs, Spaztastic, Spartan581, Spicewares, Estramares2008, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And you can see it's like going off the screen there now. Oh, wow. We have so many great subscribers. It's getting into the, the webcam. Um, so you can support the show as well for free if you have an Amazon Prime account and link it to your Twitch account and click subscribe. That's right. So you can support us and help mm, us out. Twitch has been good to us. Yes. Um, and uh, speaking of VHZC, Ooh. he's got a brand new game in the works. Uh, he's, a, he's a machine. I think he's done like five or six games in the past about a year year and a half that's amazing it's unbelievable and he kind of builds upon things he's already done in other games and manipulates them into being a, a new game i'm impressed great. that like you think about something like night guy in low res world and then roach in space two very different genres like yes. you have like completely different worlds you have a platformer and a space shooter and and like it but they both feel like him too which oh, is yes. very cool that he's able to kind of do different genres. I'm excited to but, see like what his new, what the genre of his new game is, uh, and what Peril's genre is. I might have played Peril before. You I may have. So let's take a quick little preview he's got a certain of style, his first, you know? of his uh, brand new game. Um, let me just bring it over here. So they can't see it yet, so don't make any comments yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait till I have it up on their screen. I don't know if there's any sound, but I'm gonna bring up the sound anyway. Uh, there we, there we go. Cool. Uh, okay, so this he doesn't have a name for it yet. 
but he does have a, a video for it. He says, today, which was, I think, yesterday, um, I started to program a new simple game using the Night Guys, Night Guys engine. It's a simple runner game using sprites from my previous games. I think I will create new sprites for the game, so neither the knight nor ninjish, but a squarey guy runner. And he's already um, changed it because it was um, the knight guy uh, sprite at first. But, it's smart though, man. Why yeah. not just sort of make it work with the materials you have and then you can change what you need later. Oh, he's joined us. Hello, hey, VHZC. That's so great. Yeah. So here's uh, what he's got so far. No, it's no sound. So uh, typical kind of runner, um, ducking, jumping... But in VHC, uh, ZZ, v, v, VHZC fashion, there's a really great variety oh my God. of enemies and walls and things you have to jump over and under. Oh, so I wonder and if bullets, it's the same pattern like each time bullets. or if it's different. That's what I'm wondering. Um, we'll find out because it's like otherwise, I mean, what is it? Like the famous uh, uh, Battletoads level, right? Is like a, That's right. It, it, it's not, it's a similar um, idea, I Oh, guess. look at that. Trigger. You have wow. to jump on the trigger. That's really smart. Um, and that that's a pure memorization one, that Battletoads level, yes, the famous like scooter one. Yeah. I wonder how much it's going to be like that because I, because I Roach in Space is more random, but Night Guy yes. is is more linear. So Very I linear. I would be surprised if it's uh, I would I, would I think wouldn't be surprised either way. Yeah, if it's random I, or if it's line. I think it would be great to have it both ways. Yeah. So you could have a progression level, and then also have a random level so it just throws anything at you so you're not prepared like it could be the hardest thing coming at you or the easiest thing and we'll see i think one of the challenges of it being more rng is there might be some impossible um potential combinations um possibly but it looks like one at a time so like one thing yeah one kind of um enemy i guess or i guess it's just throwing at obstacles at you so it's actually very potentially fine yeah. That's exciting. Fuck. It is, yeah. So that is... I'm looking really uh, forward to that one. Um, and he's progressing really quick. Oh, yeah. Um, That's so, a very smart method, though, to take the materials and engines you already have, try out something new, and then you can fix them as they go. I find oh, yeah. that's like a very common creative thing where you like, you know what, just try it, see if it works, yep. get the general concept out, and then you can iron out the aesthetics later. Yeah. Um, yeah, with any kind of creative pursuit, any kind of artwork, you are always building on what you know and extending yourself just a little bit further each time and trying something new. Yeah. Um, so that you know you have a good base to work from, but you're always challenging yourself as well. Yeah, I suppose to. It is a great runner idea. And I know uh, with VH, VHZC's background in the games that he's made, I know it's going to be a lot of diversity of enemies. Oh, yeah. Very creative. Like that, having to jump on a trigger to get through a wall um, it's very cool that is really good because usually in endless runners there's not things that you have to trigger it's usually just avoidance yeah it becomes almost more of a rhythm that you get into it's a less tactical and more like okay well yeah. i just have to get in this zone and learn the, each obstacle and how each obstacle he works he said originally there was going to be a level for ninja sky but i think it has potential for a standalone game oh Hell definitely yeah, man. it's it's a fully fleshed out game just like what we're seeing there and i think it's totally, totally different genre that's very cool to see you playing around with different genres man yeah like that's, it is it's very exciting the diversity there is great and but it yeah. still feels like your thing right oh totally Which like is, those are his enemies those are his type of movements and jumps and and obstacles like jumping on a trigger um very few atari 2600 games use that kind of mechanic yeah um usually there's just shooters or platformers but he is he's done a lot of triggers and and you'll see that in the game we're going to play playing today in peril where you have to like shoot things to open other things. Oh, that's which very is, which cool. Which is really, really great. I, I think, too, sometimes when I think about design problems, I always ask myself, like, what's the most important thing and the weakest thing? And that's what needs to be worked on next, yes. you know? like, And the big picture stuff is always the weakest at first, but, but then I find at a certain point you'll get down to the smaller lists, but I try not to worry about all the problems at once. I go, what's the most pressing issue? And when I guess in, like, if you were designing, like, a game like this, it would be like, well, does it work? 
is the concept interesting and then afterwards you can deal with all the little details but i always ask myself like what's the weakest link and the most important next piece because mm -hmm. there's too much to do that's there the is. thing about a lot of these whenever you have a big long ending. project yeah and you have to prioritize because otherwise if you think of like oh i have a hundred problems well you're never <laughs> gonna solve any of them no and half of i think managing a project is going like well out of these it's hundred problems ones. which one should i do next <laughs> yeah because you can only do one thing at a time yeah. and that's which one's priority which one's going to make the most impact on so it sounds like he's project. working very smart to be able to like turn around those games and be prolific yeah because i think that is the trick to being prolific is finding a method and a process that supports you and you can take things through yeah. so i'm stoked to see this stuff oh yeah um, so, uh, we're going to get into the first, oh, actually, um, before we do that, the second game we're going to be playing is going to be looking at some of these Ooh. controllers, but we will get to that when we get to the second game. Um, the first game is Midspace, and it is made by a, another extremely prolific programmer, <laughs> uh, Atari2600Land, um, aka, well, Chris Reed is his real name. Um... This game was first posted July 31st, and this build is from August 6th, which was yesterday. Wow. So it's fresh, okay, that's good. Brand new, fresh games, as always. Um, it's called Midspace. Um, it's a 2K game, and this guy is like the king of small concept, simple concept games. Um, so I, I Those find to be my favorite, actually. That's very cool. Yeah, I find he, he makes a game. It's very simple, simple mechanic, um, fun, and then he just moves on. He's like, I've completed what I've done. He doesn't make it into an expansive world yeah. or a huge thing. He has hundreds of games, like literally hundreds. Um, Which is... Up to the point where I think we played one on the show, and I asked him, is this yours? And he's like, I don't think it is. <laughs> like literally, that was his answer. I don't think it is. <laughs> That's it's such a smart thing actually if anyone's you know getting yeah. when you're getting into anything to just pick a small doable project to yeah. start is such a because most people have like I want to do this epic. That's you know we always want to do something that's yeah. like beyond our limits. So and then you like, feel overwhelmed. Totally, and, and you set yourself up to fail. But but I mean he's done so many games. He should he should. <laughs> Make a bigger game because I think he, he does, has definitely the vision, and every single one of his games is such a different concept, like a different mechanic. Um, so, if anything, he definitely serves as inspiration, maybe for other people to go, "Oh, that's interesting. I can use that concept or that mechanic in my game as a part of it." Um, some of his other games are Billy the Ball, Castle of Doom. You need to be a good programmer to fit a game in 2K. Yeah, that that's as a well. great point, man. Very yeah. good point. Yeah, because only the earliest of early Atari games were 2K, yeah. and they were simple games. Dr. Flynn and his pills, Isaiah's We Chase, Killer Bees, One Button Bob, uh, Midspace, the one we're going to play, Whitewater Madness, plus thousands of other, other games. Wow. And you can download this now in the Atari Age forums. So let's get to mid-space and check it out. And he usually only puts out like one iteration of his game. Like yeah. there's, he usually doesn't like go, oh, I'm going to update it a lot. Actually, no, sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. So mid-space. Okay, I'm ready. Let's jump into mid-space. Let the music play. It's pretty good music. So, do you have any idea how this works, or am I I'll just hit it and go? Let's find out. Well, let's listen to music for a second. It's good okay. music. Okay, it's looped around. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll let you run in with it while I. Um, um do I absorb? The... <laughs> that's, oh, that's that's not what we wanted. <laughs> that's do. bad news. Oh shh. Shit, okay. You just barely got that one. Well, I didn't realize there's quite the delay on my uh, missiles. Uh, well, you can't shoot another one till you, you, your bullets goes off the screen. That's the delay. So if you make a mistake, you better have some time. Ah. <laughs> uh, here's Damn, the man. beginning of a port of my Game Boy game. So this is actually a port. 
um, I made to the 2600. The major difference here is that since I wanted to do it in assembly and missiles are hard to move vertically, I've made the rocket move up and down. Left and right switches the way the rocket faces and shoots. The object is to shoot the pretzels before they reach the center green line. God, who hasn't been there, man? I, I know. It's like every, <laughs> every day we deal with these problems. No! Oh. That, that one you actually touch for big points. Really? Yep. Um, the object is to shoot the pretzels before they reach the center green line. The faster you shoot the pretzels, the more points you earn. Yay. Okay. Uh, the red number in the upper left corner is the life counter, of which you have zero. Uh, you get four lives to start with. Um, I don't need a life. So that was on July 31st. August 1st, he said, I added some checks. We'll call it cereal in the final version. Uh, if you touch the checks with the rockets, you get an extra 50 points. But if you let it go to the center, you still die. Oh, you'll still die. But you can shoot at it and Whoa. get points. Okay, some, some of these ones are getting a bit faster. Uh, you're getting up in score. You died. I'm supposed to touch Game that over. one? Yeah, you're supposed to touch it. You can shoot it. Ah. If you want. Cool. Uh, I hope the checks have the checks appear less often in the final version, if there is one. <laughs> Like I said, he sometimes just just abandons the game. He's fine with where it is. August 4th, digit fixes and changes it so you start with three lives instead of four. Uh, I'd like some feedback. How am I doing here? And I gave him some feedback. Um, there doesn't seem to be a ramp up in difficulty. He has changed all this since then. You could, get, you could get a super fast pretzel as your first enemy or a slow one. It should probably start slower with a range of enemies and then get faster as no. time goes on. Uh, number two, it's very ag fairly agonizing waiting for the slow serial pieces to reach your ship. You could set a minute speed minimum on those so you aren't tempted to shoot the slow ones to just get it over with. Um, number three, more variety of enemies. You probably want to keep it simple and under 2k though. Um, uh, so new changes, he ramped up the difficulty. At the beginning, the pretzels move fairly slow while still have random speeds. Then you get to the fastest speeds once 300 points is written. Uh, achieved, of which you're about to get. Do oh, almost one more. Yeah, now you're at 300. Uh, I made the serial speed constant, so it's not agonizingly slow. I could add more enemies, but I don't know what they would be. And since he has added the cashews, uh, I would like to add shooting pretzels. Uh, add shooting pretzels, but I want them to be a different color, and I can't because the rocket's missile color is the same as the pretzel color. Uh, August 5th, new enemy. Beware of the dreaded cashew. It God can damn, man. Move not only from left to right, but up and down as well. In other words, it moves di diagonally. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You just have to, like, get more off. And more he's made the checks. More of a trajectory, man. So you got 470? Is that your. Yeah, top? man. Ah. Oof, just in time. There we go. Yeah, you have to anticipate. Definitely. Ooh, that's um, the best one. There's a, there was a couple ones that were, like, um,. Uh, there's, there's only one that I felt as though I couldn't have gotten. Um, it was just because I was at the very top, and it was like at the very bottom and super fast. Mm. Um, but so far, it's just been uh, negligence. That is. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not allowed me to get better at it. <laughs> hey, Atari. So that one, yeah, that's kind of What's a, interesting a risk. is they sort of bounce off of the bottom, yeah. um, but it's a little bit interesting to sort of figure out the angle because it's like an invisible line. <laughs> it is. Um, it's but it's like once you figure it out, it's like, oh, it makes blackness. sense. But yeah, you, there's no necessary line like here, right? It's like it bounces, but did you see it didn't bounce? Oh, it didn't bounce. quite go to the top. Yeah, so that fucked me a couple times. Yeah. Because everything else actually bounces uh, at the edge except for that that one at the very top. So that one was fine, but it's so very interesting. You have to watch out for the top bounce then. Totally, because it's actually a little bit... Because see, this one bounces right at the bottom of the screen. On the green line. Exactly, but the... but when you go to near the top, it, it bounces not quite... Because uh, like, you'd imagine it would bounce at the bottom edge of where those letters are. Yeah. But see, it doesn't... And I think it's, I might just be the wafer too. I've noticed every time the wafer has gone up top. Because that's the bottom of the screen. It's like, it makes sense. Yeah. So that's something you may need to look into. He may not have defined. Cause see here, it's like uh, I'll have to wait till it naturally goes up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't want to mess up your score. No, it's not worth it. But I've <laughs> noticed it with the wafers in particular are, are uh, seem to be unique. 
But I could be wrong. It seems to be that I'm curious what it is. The bottom of the screen is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very natural. So this is not this is not bad for 2K. Very small, small program. Yeah, it's a very simple, cool little game, though. And I like the little design of the characters. and. Yeah, yeah. Feels like Pac-Man just flying at you. I think maybe the um, the ship could be less chunky mm -hmm. vertically, like more refined ship, because the... Um... I mean, it would be aesthetically more pleasing if you were a slightly smaller line. Oh, yeah, the green line. <laughs> the green line's so huge. It's very thick. Which isn't an issue. It's like you just need like a, a third of it taken off because then you'd have more of a ship to see. Yeah, I think he can reduce it in half. Yeah. Um, because I believe he's using Playfield to draw that, and they are four pixels across. Um, but that looks like it's eight pixels across, so he could reduce that to four, and it would just be a cleaner line. And then reduce the ship size as well to just... about half the half the width. Just so it's a little bit, you know, not as chunky, not as a little bit cleaner, maybe. I think I've hit a the wall here yeah man <laughs> i think it needs to ramp up the difficulty well the other thing is is that there needs Did to I die no you haven't i mean the other thing is is there really truly needs to be some sort of upgrade for uh, us because yeah. it is there's no real variation like these games tend to have like now you have like you know faster shooting now you have bigger shots now you have right. like you know it'd be really nice if there was some uh like ability like a like a thing, like I mean, the, the, to me, like the wafer would make total sense if you had to As catch an it. As and a temporary it, upgrade. Totally, or it gives you like sixty seconds of like fast shooting or fast movement or something. Yeah. Or, or like you know double ships. Like I mean, there's all kinds of fun shit you could do, and then that would make me more engaged because at the moment it does feel a little like um. Uh, samey, samey. Yeah, there's really been no difference in in anything, and. I mean, I can't remember what game it was, but one of the games we played also had, like, upgrades that were not advantageous, and they were <laughs> oh, random. Oh, yes. And that's, that's really fun. That's Space Game, which is a yeah. really, really good that's game. That's such a smart thing to have upgrades that are also that's, not... But you're like, no, I don't want that. Don't touch it. <laughs> well, yeah, and that makes that makes it a bit more fun. Oops, should have collected that. But this does need to get harder, at least. He says, uh, uh, Thrust says, uh, to me, this is more of a game concept than a real game. Uh, most um, of most of his fall in that yeah, category. Yeah, this is on the edge because this definitely is like fully. It's a game. You could totally you do this. Is, we've definitely played ones that are uh, <laughs> more of a more conceptual than this for sure. Oh, like yeah. at least there's enemies and you can die and there's sc yes. scores. So, <laughs> but but I do I understand the the spirit of that comment because the, there's a lot of truth to it. It needs that. It's missing the thing that makes the game the game. The risk reward. You know the difficulty ramp up you know what it reminds me of is a little like monkey king actually you know just oh, in terms of like where it's at in terms of its like thing because it monkey king took a while before it turned into something that was like really super addictive it did. um yeah not had um a power-up system exactly and it and it and and once that system started to really click um, God, that game turned into... Like, it was like playing yeah. a different game. Well, that had a lot going for it. It was two-player, head-to-head. Totally. Um, but it was a similar thing, like one line in a screen, and you sort of go from one side to the other. But oh, see, yeah, that's you see nowhere that? near the top. Exactly. That's like a whole ship width. That's, that's nine times out of ten when you get killed, because it's not obvious. Let's see if this one does that. Oh, too. it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so the top one is just a slightly different... Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's just weird that it's there. So I I found the trajectory gets a bit fucked. Yeah, so that needs to be a little. Um, I mean, higher. what 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 I would do is I would have the green line stop where it bounces. That you, would make it easy. Might be an easier programming thing to do because it just be that's visually makes complete sense. Because right now we have some green where um, it goes right up to the letters. That's what and I. Would, I can go to the top. Yeah, like where I, I like nothing is up here. Nothing will ever go to that top where I can shoot it at that height yeah that would, i don't think i mean that's just a quality of life thing i mean it's not essential once you learn no. it you've learned it but i mean the, like, those details see. no yeah. i cannot shoot it at that so it height. doesn't make sense that you can go that high um, yeah or you could maybe yeah like yeah that, just reduce the green or fix fix it so they do go to the top that might be just a variable that he needs to change so it's eight less 
Yeah, because it's especially it's hard for these wafers because when you do want to collect them, yeah, you know, uh, the the timing is difficult, especially for the top ones. Bottom ones, it's fine. Yeah, because it's the bottom is just the bottom of the screen. It makes total sense. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Cool. Because <laughs> it's just gonna go on. Retire forever. on that. Yeah. Um, so a good a good start. Yeah, man. Um, the concept of left and right having to switch back and forth really rather nice. than just a, you're on the bottom or you're facing uh, one way completely. It's it so keeps you active and keeps you engaged, but it doesn't ramp up enough in difficulty yet. But it is is just his first release of it. Totally, and it's amazing how like sometimes you just get um, got it. Sometimes it's just basic uh, stuff, right? Like gone. having maybe multiple levels would be fun. Maybe having yeah. upgrades would be fun, you know? And that's uh, that's definitely a thing that people appreciate in games is a sense of achievement. Yes. A progression. Like a mid-tune, a stop, a short break, and then you get back to the action, and then something has changed. Totally. You're, like, you're on level two, or a color change even like yeah. oh now you're on the purple level the purple level is a faster level or some i made it to the purple level or like some right? mechanics where you can like kill something so that you then get extra points so there's just a feeling of like oh there's like a feeling of special something yeah. special you have to collect like letters you shoot people in a certain order like yes. not that any of these are like killer ideas but it, no. they uh, some combination of them would create a game that's a lot more um, addictive. Yeah, I suppose says 4K games usually can't fit lots of music, wow. so he did have music in the game, which is a really good accomplishment for such a small game, and it's nice music too. Yeah, um, we had a similar game in the show. Which, which game? Which show? Which show? <laughs> Give us yeah. some details. I'd love to hear. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what that means, but but that's that's probably my fault, not yours. <laughs> um, so the next game we're gonna play is using these controllers. Oh, interesting. I've never played these. We used these ones and before. And neither have I, actually. Uh, these are called uh, keyboard controllers. They do split apart. It's the original Switch. <laughs> Yay! Right? Oh, that's hilarious. Like, click. <laughs> oh, he said this show, a rotated version. Oh, your, your show. show. A rotated version. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, I mean, it's a shooter. <gasps> yeah, There's a million shooters, sense. right? And you have to, <laughs> you have to differentiate... Um, you have to differentiate yourself when you're making a shooter. You have to have something original, some mechanic. And he's got the left and right. Uh, oh, yes, there was one that was... Oh, yeah, you're right. It was horizontal. It was a horizontal. It was a lot harder and a lot faster. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot there... more addictive. It's yeah. amazing. With... That was a port of a iOS game, I think. I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. What I was it called? what it was called. You guys tell us the name. You know, Horizontal you know. something. I do maybe. remember, though, yeah. and, and that one was... The, it was faster paced so it was yes. a lot more addictive. it ramped up quite quickly it so, got really hard because if you but have to multiple things were coming at the same time yeah but they're moving slow and you like had they to, were like all over the place and you had to kind of figure out the order yeah, yeah that was cool that was really cool it's like kaboom where it's dropping things in multiple areas that that was good so he's only got one at a time so yeah that's something that and, it, maybe... and because it's slower paced it, yeah. it doesn't pull you in as much because when something's a bit faster you have to engage with it and yeah. kind of fully it almost forces you yeah anyway um so these are keyboard controllers cool um they plug into one port each and they've got um kind of a telephone looking uh control pad cool so it's got one through zero and it's also got a uh, pound and, and a hashtag and a hashtag <laughs> or a star and a, and a pound because back then it was called pound i just and now it's hashtag that's so. just that's just me trolling i think it's the funniest it thing in the yeah. world that like millennials are like look at this hashtag on this <laughs> phone that's right so there's the keyboard so controller to you. um so i'm gonna uh, Rail Slider. No, Rail Slider. That game. We never really fully figured out Rail Slider. That one is amazing visually, but the person has not made any updates to it. Oh, that's too bad. It's unbelievably cool looking. So should we um, get into it and plug the thing in? Because yeah, it's a bit... Let's get into it first. Just because, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a meditative... Oh,
What is happening? Dude. A Satan is about to be <laughs> fucking summoned in the basement. This better not be destroying my high scores. For some reason, the game is talking to the Atari box. Oh, probably because of these. I think I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> and plug these in. Oh, that was badass. It was kind of cool sounding, but that was, that was I'm a... very scared it erased all my high scores on the... Uh... That would be terrible. Yeah, but I think it would have to do a, a number of functions before it did, did that. You don't have to do anything. Uh, so I can control it here. Oh, good. Or not. Uh-oh. There we go. That was like Stephen Hawking's uh, <laughs> Ice-T remix. That's right. Okay. That was crazy. That was cool. Here we go. Okay. So, no more craziness. It's, it's possessed. possessed. It was. Fuck, man. Very it totally possessed. was. Satan Crazy. is about to be resurrected. So, Jesus 98. Are you, are you uh, reacting? To... Yes. So, somehow your game is triggering the Atari box. <laughs> when, the pro, when the developer is like, what is happening? That's, the, that's, that's, when, you, that's when Satan is coming. Yes. Yeah, so you might want to look into... Oh, that's so good. How Atari Vox is similar to keyboard controllers and how you interface with them, um, because these are a little different than um, joysticks. And I couldn't find programming references for these and how they're read. I didn't look wow. super hard, but I looked for a little bit um, because there's 12 wow. buttons on here, right? And on a joystick, there's up, down, left, right, and a button. So that's five inputs. So how do you get 12, right? Well, you use the button as like an additional, so that doubles it. So now you've got eight. Yeah. Um, and then you start using possibly what I'm thinking is pressing up and down at the same time or left and right at the same time, like multiple yeah. impossible button combinations. And you'll get to 12 pretty easily. Four buttons, four bits, scanning rows. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Man, okay. that like cool that so Atari there's box. Timing? There's timing to this. Is like it scans at this time, and oh, so there's like feedback between the keyboard controller and the Atari. Interesting. Maybe you can oh see the Stellar's Programmer's Guide. Oh yes, of course I should have looked at that. Anyway, let's give a full rundown of this. This is Laser Keyboard by uh, Jesus Jimenez, aka Jesus ninety eight. Um, this is first posted on <coughs> sorry, August 4th, 2019, which is three days ago. And this build is from the same one. So this is his initial release of the game. Um, this is an 8K game. Um, other games, Drone Wars, which we... Did you play that one? Where things are coming from the sides, top and bottom, and you, sh you move with a paddle around. I think that was Darcy, actually. It, d it does actually sound very familiar, but well, but we play so many games that are different. Yeah, you use a paddle. Was it the one that's like was presumably 360 degrees, but yes, wasn't that's the one. actually? Yes, yeah, I played yeah. that one. That okay. was cool. Yeah, that was a very cool concept. Um, I believe that's one. This is available in the Atari Age forums. Drone Wars, yep. Cool, man. Um, yeah. And he posted in the Facebook group, Atari 2600 Homebrew, he said, can you guys tell me if there's any Atari 2600 homebrew games that use the keyboard controllers? And I was like, oh, that's, you know, is he thinking about doing that? Or is he just looking? Um, and the answers were, well, the synth card is not actually a game, but I guess it counts because there's a, um, a program that you can do drum beats using these. Oh, that's fun. So you like combine both of them together and you're like... <laughs> and synth sounds and oh that's good so that's really cool actually it's not a, this isn't a two player game but we can play it two players uh holy moly uses the kids controller oh my which God, one is second. I need to blow my nose this sure I'll be right back. and this is the kids controller and it was mostly used for um a bunch of sesame street games and it's very nice blue color um and rhythm games or simon like games could use it so people are thinking of types of games and then I, my answer was it's a highly underused input device i'd love to see more homebrew games use it like strategy rpg or puzzle games are prime candidates so imagine 
you have an RPG game, right? Yeah. And you've got a joystick as the primary input, moving around um, other items. But then you've got this at your disposal in the second port for um, quick triggers. Yeah, it's like, man. Number one's my sword. Number two is my bow and arrow. Number three is a uh, healing potion. Number four is this. You've got 12 yeah, quick, man. quick buttons. And one of the most underutilized things in RPGs that you don't see as much is to have non-action RPGs. Things that are like like pause and play. Like Final Fantasy is a good example of one where you kind of, you make choices. You know, so you don't actually even necessarily need to move. You could go from section to section and then have to click like, do I use my sword here? That's we, turn, turn based. Yeah, turn based yeah. stuff, which is like, with this would be very interesting. Cause yeah, you could so be you have like, a little printout beside it and you have one equals this, two equals that, et cetera, et cetera. Sword, magic, you know, yep. uh, different things. There's Attack, a, defend. Uh, run away. <laughs> It'd be so good. And you don't have to go through a scrolling list and have those displayed on the screen. So it'd simplify the programming yeah. quite a bit. Probably. Um, my, my, my favorite, one of my favorite games of all time is Baldur's Gate 2. That's one of the best games oh, yeah, ever, yeah. man. Pause and play RPG. It's like Pause incredible. And play. Is that the new, uh, Oh no, that's where like, for it? well, what it would do <laughs> is, is turn based. Is well, this, the original the, that one it. wasn't turn based. That one was oh. where like you would go into battle, you hit the space bar yeah. and then you would select everybody's actions, oh. you unrelease it. And then you would stop when you wanted. And if you were oh, really good, I they see. would do their thing. Yeah. Um, but, uh. And Ground Trooper or uh, Splendid Nut says, I think Star Raiders has its own keyboard style controller. Ha ha. Hell yeah. Here it is, Star Raiders. And these are all functionally exactly the same. They all have 12 um, buttons and they were just different form factors. Star Raiders has it put out their own and they had their own overlay. So ideally, actually, you would want to make an overlay. Oh, so you could have a custom thing going on. So you could have a custom game. So this would be actually the one you would want to make it for. And you'd print up like uh, 200 plastic things. And you can fit it into the overlay right here. So if I was ever to make an RPG game, this is definitely the way you'd want to go. a lot of fun. And there are so many Star Raiders touchpads out there that these are not rare. Yeah. So you could easily get one of them. And I think... I. My approach would be to definitely remove the kind of joystick aspect. I mean, you could do it a bit, but well, I would make it... you want it to move around. Yeah. The joystick part of it. And this is for... It's the actual... But I wouldn't do, like, live combat with these ones. Oh, no, 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 no. But, it would but... be a, definitely be a turn-based one. But it would be way too... killer, because you could just hit the thing, and it would yeah. actually be very immersive. Yeah, because this one has, like, four view, galaxy map, hyper warp, computer on off, shields on and off. And then they don't use the rest of them. That's hilarious. They design <laughs> this beautiful pad and they're literally yeah. using like, like four. Leaving the rest up to waste. So you could just do that with <laughs> a joystick almost. Like there's only five. It's yeah. like up, down, left, right, and button. It's nothing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if people uh, making RPGs definitely think about that using the Star Raiders with an overlay. You yeah. can make them paper. You can have them print out and you can just have disposable paper ones. If you don't have enough money to print up a plastic one, because I'm sure there's minimum runs, and it would cost yeah. a lot to, to get that done. Um, so, let's see. And then he announced it. He said, hi, I'm glad to present a new game developed by me. <laughs> <laughs> as, as I know, I it's one it. of the few homebrews that use keyboard controllers. Um, Not wrong. Like two. Yeah. So that's very, very, very few. Um, and in this case, my game uses both, because um, some just use one of them. This one uses all both of them, so 24 buttons in total, which is crazy. Um, the game is technically done, but if you find bugs, report them to me in this thread. Now, I'm going to read all of this out before we get into it, because um, it's fairly complex. It's a I little imagine. complex, but also at the same time. It's Mike, not. you got to make one, dude. Yes, yes, do love it. Love it. That would be amazing. Uh, plot. Your country is under attack. Ooh, I love that it's not Just like specifically... The same one. It's like the... the same plot as the last game. It's so good. You're, de you're defending... If uh, you're in Russia, Russia under attack. That's you're right. in North America. Like... Yeah. <laughs> few few yeah. hours ago, a terrorist cell has been spotted on the border control in your country passing explosives without limits. Intelligence says that they will do a terrorist attack on the capital, and if you lose them, it will be impossible to track them again. It's a post-9-11 game. Yeah, you're controlling a laser orbital cannon. <clears throat> and your aim is to kill as many terrorists as you can before they escape with your radar. 
Your laser orbital cannon, LOC, uh, control panel is a pair of keyboard controllers that have all the coordinates of the map. Jesus. Wow, okay, this is tactical shit we're about to do yeah, here. So I'm going to put these together. Yeah, good idea. Hand them to you. Um, and that's so funny that those will act like the switch. I know. They click together. It's, it's... And you can keep adding. Not that you can plug them in, but they, yeah, you but can you... put them either way. Well, you, but you got like those crazy... Uh things like there you yeah could, you, but it would they wouldn't work because these have too many inputs and ah, they would use those as extra that makes sense inputs for the other two joysticks for the quad it's just only so much i guess again. yeah it's not input it's not a digital thing it's an analog kind of thing um <coughs> oh my goodness don't give that to me whatever you have oh no it's just all this cat hair is in my nose for some are you reason. allergic to cats no, no but it's just today for whatever reason it's... i just keep feeling they oh keep my goodness cats my... bad stop it oh no it's, it's all um, good uh press a key when you think that enemy is in the coordinate the keys on the keyboard controllers represent a quadrant on the screen you start with four lives each live is a current status bar you lose a portion of the status bar when a terrorist vehicle crosses the border Sorry, I gotta stop. It's just VHZ he said something funny. He said, Mine are like a cockroach want to go home and <laughs> that's his plot. That's the whole plot. <laughs> that made me laugh. Shoot everything. I love it. It's like a low res dude wants to go through trials. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I just want everything just wants to get home. Yeah. But it's so funny, yeah. Jesus is just like oh, you know, he's, uh, terrorists. That's right. VHZ, <laughs> yeah, I love the complexity of the plots. Jesus is It's so good. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. This that's is okay. too funny. You start with four lives, each life has a current status bar um so lives on the left status cool. bar on the right uh you lose a portion of the status bar when a terrorist vehicle crosses the border when the status bar uh decreases to zero you lose a life when you lose all four lives the game's ends make sure to plug both keyboard controllers in the console jacks before starting any game which we've done uh -huh. make sure you don't start the game with an atari vox plugged in because it'll be possessed which, you wanted to be which possessed. actually i wish we could get an audio recording of that because those oh, we do those kinds of um, <laughs> yeah because to, to try to simulate and generate something like that is very difficult maybe some musician wants to use that as it's in their remix you know totally uh press the reset button once you plug the keyboard controllers in order to start the game no bad programmer make it so you press a button to start the game no yeah. to reach over there that's okay. It's only his first iteration. He can add that in. Yeah, and it, it really does quality. Oh. It's one of the only quality of life things that's really like consistently. Yes. It's like, please make sure you press a button to restart. Uh, and if you're concerned about the game restarting while they're playing, just add a little pause. That's right. So it ignores the button presses for like two seconds, even one second. If I if I if <laughs> if I'm in a blackout drunk state, I want to be able to just hit a button. Uh, I don't want to have to lean over. And <laughs> put your Atari next to you. No, it's it's all messed. It's it's got hookups all over the place. You can see in the webcam. It's hooked up to like the uh, Frame Meister, and it's an RGB. It's a big mess. Because we're not savages, Mike. That's, That's right. right. No, I'm just kidding. We don't sit on the floor. We like it's 1977. What is this? I'm not in my <laughs> we're parents' in 2020. kitchen. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, press any key from the left keyboard controller to start another game when you lose. Dude, that was the next line. We're just so troll. Just, <laughs> so you need to start the whole. Oh, when you lose a life. I think when, when you, you lose, lose a game. game. Well, we'll so. see. Um, press the restart button on a started game to reset the current game if you want to start over and you how don't do you like how it's Star going. Master? How do you play Star Master? Well, pause the show. Let's... That's it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's an Easter egg to find. Clue, can Ooh. you find it in a similar way like in Drone Wars? Well, we didn't find the Easter egg in Drone Wars either, so good luck to us. I love that um, the hint is to play another game and yeah, find the Easter the egg of that. There. It'll help you with the hint on this game. He's, he's cross-marketing. It's very smart. It's very smart. Um, I highly recommend the use of real keyboards instead of using only the PC keyboard in Stella for a better experience. That's everything you need to start playing the game. Free, pre feel free to post your comments about the game. I'm okay. excited. This is going to be so neat. So let's go. So um, I played briefly okay. on Stella. Um, so the top row is the top row, and then the next row is represents the next row. Oh, interesting. Like down. So that corresponds exactly to what you're seeing on the screen. So top left is top left. Okay. All that. Okay. 
But you'll you'll figure it out. So am I supposed to like? And you missed. Okay, get him. Get him. Get him. There you go. Oh, interesting. So each row is a row of. See, there's six Very rows confused. there, or six columns, and there's six columns there. So that car is in that, oh, that I column. Oh, I see. There you go. Oh, I see. Says the blind man. Yes, there you go. Now you're getting it. Hey. <laughs> nice. Um, so I looked up all the other games that use the Atari keyboard controllers um, in any, any three of these. Um, basic programming, brain games, code breaker, concentration, hunt and score, magic card, memory match, test cart, alpha beam with Ernie, big birds, egg catch, Co cookie monster munch, Grover's music maker, maker, monster size, Oscar's trash race, peekaboo, and oh, star shit. raiders. And homebrew games are uh, synth cart and holy moly. Oh my god, man. Splendid Nut says, nice, we got some new destruction animation going on. Holy shit, man. Yeah, it's got some animation for the destruction. It's got like two frames of an Oh, three. Three on some Whoa. of them. Whoa, what, did I die? I think it's the next level. Holy shit. Oh yeah, there, that's what uh, you gotta do. That's the, to, oh to show. god damn it. Okay. See, that's, that's level progression. That's called, right? that's called Erlen's, damn. gotta wrap my brain around this. Oh, two at once, nice. Oh, it is kind of two at once, isn't it? I have to like find. This is. I feel like I'm having to learn how to play drums or something. Do you <laughs> yeah, know what you, I mean? Like, like there's you a literally real... cannot look at the controllers anymore, right? No, you. I have to like find the instinct to sort of. Twenty one fifty. Jesus. Whoa. Okay. Oh, it does okay. restart. Okay, I apologize. I apologize. You did put it in. Okay, and I think I'm understanding like what the. Mike bloke just says. I just want James and Erlen on their knees. <laughs> oh no okay no, okay buddy he was setting us up for that that's a good cool idea just the switches star master uses the console switches yes it does and there's another one that uses the console switches as well it is and it actually had an overlay for your atari 2600 what was it uh a space shuttle that's what it was it was a nasa game and it had a huge overlay for your whole 2600. And I can't remember if it was a four switch overlay or six. And I think it was a switch. A six or a four. So I bet those overlays are really, really rare. Because I'm not I'm not sure that Whoa. a lot of people bought that game. Well, you're getting pretty good without looking now. I would it's it's it certainly is a bit of a Oh, then sped up. I haven't lost a life yet. Getting close. Oh, first life lost. It makes sense, though. It's just a lot to... Um, you should probably add in a sound for losing a life. Oh, because uh, he lost another life. Because uh, it would be a good indicator oh, of, of progression. Or the screen flashes or something. It's just a new set of motor skills for this game. It's very cool, man. Like, I've, this is unique. And I love. Well, I have to. I'm having games. to like learn an entirely new like set of You're doing pretty good controls. Now. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> like, it's it's war. War never changes. I heard both came in the box, four oh, and God. six, which okay, overlays. So three thousand oh, okay. isn't terrible. Nice sprites. Yeah, they're pretty good. <clears throat> okay, uh, I am going to cheat. <laughs> Do it, um, because I was playing this on the. Um, on the computer with Stella, and I figured out I'm gonna see if it translates well to the actual controllers. Oh, so you're just gonna push them all at the same time? Oh, and... these are not as easy as to press. And see if, if that works. These are a lot harder than. Yeah, man, you definitely would wanna have all your fingers on all the keys all at once. It's like playing the piano or the drums, right? Okay, that I'm makes not gonna cheat the sense. way I did on the computer. It's smart to have. Because I was kind of next level yeah. um because i was spamming the keys but actually when it went to the second level you couldn't do that anyway because they're too fast and you had to be precise because you can't press two at once it doesn't let you that's smart that's good probably because the way it's programmed <clears throat> because they're like multiplexed almost so what i'm doing right now and it probably shouldn't allow this or maybe it should um is I have 
six fingers across one particular row. Oh, see, I missed those. That's not good. I can kind of spam it. Yeah. It makes sense. It's the way to do it, I guess. Oh. Once again, if you're going for the <laughs> win. Yeah, you do anything you can. No, it doesn't quite work. It, it, ah, it's, like my you're method, doing better than me. My method is not bad, but you still have to pay attention. You for, yeah, that's, no, you, this is, you'd for sure need to, having all your fingers on things is smart, though, because you don't yeah. want to be moving your thumbs. It's just not going to. Yeah, this is like drumming. This is like, um. Very much. Guitar Hero or Guitar something Hero. like that, actually. Oh, these would make perfect inputs for Guitar Hero. Oh, my God. That style of... Whoa, whoa dude, did you whoa, see some whoa. of these? No! Oh, rip. <laughs> now it's when I die. Ah, oh, this is cool. Uh, I would say that is too fast. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, I started again. Yeah, you need to put a pause in. Because now I don't know what my score is. It was like 4,300 and something. Yeah. So um, before starting a new game, definitely put like a one second pause at least. And like a, yeah, yeah. And show visually that the game is over. Oh, he says a clue, exclusive Easter egg clue, the select switch. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Black doesn't do anything. Not that I can see. Difficulties? No. A <laughs> keyboard controller hero. I think that's awesome. You can take one of these. Like, one person could have one. It would be a two-player. Oh, sick. You're right? right. And you can have the different strings on, oh, the, on, the, on the guitar. You go. Dude, yeah. One of, one of us these can fuck with are one. These so hard to press, though. They're very stiff, eh? Yeah, man. Don't you think? Well, that's cool. We can we can totally like try to. So let's play two player. Yeah. And see how well we can do. I bet, I bet we're gonna do better. I can okay, just so feel it. Okay, so you're on the left, I think. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Now I because after the first level, that's when it starts throwing two out at once, right? Yeah. This is a bit more manageable, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. This is like three. so. Each button represents uh, two of those rows of um, of the gray ah! or the green. I do like the the color uh, changings. That's really nice. Of course, I could throw two on one side like it just did for you, right? Oh, yeah. It's like. Teamwork is always better. Yeah, this is not bad. This is much easier with two people. Yeah. And and it's cool because it can be a two player or one player game. Oh fuck. Sometimes it, it feels like you like, you know, like totally miss it, you know? Yeah. Like, like, like sometimes it just almost like sometimes it's just like in clockwork and other times it's like you miss that sort of, sort of spot. Whoa, we got some updates. As long as it doesn't reset. <laughs> Don't reset my machine. Oh, I missed one. Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think that's too fast. Like, I Especially can't even for react. this level, right? Yeah, I think maybe the next level should have that speed up. I don't know. It's, I can't, I can't. I've missed I it every one. time. Oh, I'm getting them. Oh, maybe it's not too bad, but I, I, the ramp up seems like really fast to those. Yeah, I've missed every one of them. I just don't know how to, <laughs> like, they just by oh, the, my, but my reflexes are not great. Uh, I got the, I've gotten a couple, I think like four. I excel really at fast. strategy, not reflex games <laughs> not reflex. in general. Oh, did we lose? Yeah. Okay, six thousand. 
You're playing reversed from the viewer's perspective. Are we? Maybe I should make a version of Dory me using the key. Oh, there's a bug. You didn't turn off the sound. Or maybe that's what the sound is when you die. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I should make a version of Dory me using the keyboard controller. Hmm. Well, because you're having the notes come in from the top, bottom, left, and right. Or are they, or they, do they mean like I'm Press on... Press that button. There, it's just noisy. Um, you're playing f reversed from the view. Oh, I see, because we are... Yeah, we're, we're opposite. Yeah, we are, yeah, yeah. I'm... I am playing the right-hand side of the screen. Erlen's playing the left-hand side of the screen. Okay, yeah. so he says, when you kill X enemies and press the select button, it appears the oh. Easter egg. How many do we have to kill? <laughs> Let's we, kill a lot. We gotta kill <laughs> X, man. Yeah, kill the X. God damn that X, it always gets you. I'm sure we made it up to that level. That's quite the Easter egg. You're, you're busy killing things, and you have to reach over and... And press the select button on the... Now I want to play the other game and, and see what, what its Easter egg was. Yeah. I don't think anybody will figure out that Easter egg. Because you're so busy killing things. Or maybe after you die, you can press What's it. What's your favorite Easter egg in anything? Have you... Oh, I I rarely find them accidentally. Because they're usually so obscure. So I really wouldn't be able to name one. Weird. I mean, the early sometimes, game. sorry, I didn't say weird to you. I just, it was weird because I was like... <laughs> You're weird. I'm like, I can't seem, for all of a sudden, I couldn't seem to, like... Hit any of them? Yeah. Fifty-three enemies. Yay! Totally gave away the Thanks, secret. Thanks, dude. Thank you. I don't know how many we've killed, though. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll see. Enough. Maybe Maybe after we get, like... Couple. And is it while you're playing? Or is it after you're dead? Like, you have to stop playing the game and press, reach over and press select. I uh, guess somebody else could be. I'd love to know playing. in chat if anyone's favorite Easter eggs from games. Yeah. I'm curious, are there any, like, famous Atari Easter eggs? Oh, yeah. Because I don't know my Atari games at all. All my references are, like, not <laughs> much appropriate later. for the show. I feel terrible because I've played so many games in my life, but so few of them actually relate to the show. But I'm always, anytime I reference a game, it's always pretty much off. <laughs> yeah, the, well, the first ever Easter eggs was on the Atari 2600, um, because Atari didn't let... Oh my god. It's about the only thing I got from that Ready Player One movie. Well, it's not working. It must be after you die. And I'm sure we killed or Maybe we haven't killed enough yet? I think we have. But maybe not. But we have to be careful not to restart the game. Okay, hit it. Let's see. Oh! oh! Well, we were so close to, like... It was not the first Easter egg. No, I said one of the first Easter eggs. It was on Adventure. Um, Magic Dot and Adventure. Yeah, <clears throat> because the um, Atari didn't let the programmers have their names in the manual. Yeah. Or give them any credit whatsoever. Oh. So what they did is programmed Easter eggs into the game to have their name when yeah. you do certain things in the game. Oh. Okay, let's get this Easter egg. Well, we should well, we restart be just... because we, like, lost, oh. like, so much on, like, just, like, the first level. Yeah. Okay. The one. So when we get close to dying, we're just going to stop playing so that we don't mess things up. Let's count them. Uh, Ten. Ten? Eleven. Is Eleven is, is where we're at. 12. Are you counting? 16. Okay. Ah! Oh my god, I was pressing the wrong row. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, oh, fuck. 20, 21. Oh, yeah, we easily got to that. 24, 25. 26. Ah. 27, 29, what am I doing missing this? Like 33 now, 34, 35. I think it just starts. Yeah, it just starts on its own.
Oops. Okay, around now, I think we're we're past 52 at this point. Let's just get to the super quick ones, and then we'll just let it die. Oh, a little screen jump there. Not a big one. Oh, okay, it's the fast ones. Let it die. Uh, should we hit select? We can try it now. Don't press anything. Don't press buttons. No, it's after you die. That's nothing! Hold yeah. it down? Nothing. Doesn't seem to do anything. Am I doing something wrong? Game select. Doesn't seem to change anything on the screen. Try difficulties. No. Nope. 42, man. The answer to life. The trick is to maintain the select pressed. Probably exactly. You have to do it on a 2,650 points. <laughs> That's just Thrust fucking around. I don't know if Thrust knows what's up. I, I wouldn't... He, It's about 50-50 whether Thrust is fucking with us or he actually know. knows exactly what we need to do. I, I wouldn't be surprised if either were true. Um, I've tried holding down the select. To the, to, is to maintain the select pressed. So I guess that means... It should, is it exactly at 52? <laughs> That That's a really it. obscure Easter egg that nobody will find. If you have to pre hold down the select button at exactly 42, 40, and, 52. and we have to like count like perfectly <laughs> up to it. Oh my god! You better tell us exactly how to do this, or I don't think we'll get it. We're 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 dumb monkeys today. Yeah, or we're not. Type it out. Type it out. Up to. Up to. That's the beginning of a sentence, right? <laughs> yes. Dude, the Easter egg is trying to figure out how to use do the Easter egg from your... That's this right. It's so great. I love it. It's so <laughs> meta. Um, what a tricky... What an extraordinarily difficult game, though, with one person. Like, even oh, with two people, it's it's yeah, quite it's challenging. Really hard. Um, and uh, Great use of the keyboards. When you kill 53 enemies, press the select. So we have to kill exactly 53? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so let's one try... One more try. I'll try to count it, man. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, two, 2,650 points, so we six. don't have to count them. Thrust did the calculations. No, don't bother counting. Okay. Just watch the score. Once we get to 2,000, then we'll slow down a bit. Ah, oh, dude, Thrust did did have her back. That he makes did. me so happy. <laughs> I thought he was just picking a random number. Yeah, mess with us. I appreciate that, man. This is why it's our helpful. audience is so cool. Cause yeah. like they, you know, the precise of, programmers, man. Yeah, because some so, some streamers like they have their fans, and the fans just mess with them all the time. It's like, oh, do this. Oh, it missed it. Do this and you'll get it, and then it just kills them. That's half the fun of the internet, man. <laughs> That's right. Is that stuff. Whether to believe your your audience or not. My roommate's mother's getting trolled so hard on PokerStar, and she's in her seventies. She doesn't know <laughs> oh, how to deal no. with it because she's never dealt with the internet. She's, she gets so lie on the internet. Okay, gets... slow down. Okay. 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 One, one more. more. That's it. Don't do any more. Yeah. Are they turning into different things? No. Oh, Yar's yeah. It's Yar. Oh, he has a bunch of like cool. It's Yar from Yar's Revenge. And then it's like this medicine thing. Oh, cool. Now we can kill them and yeah. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Yeah, we got to see it. Yeah, Yar. Yeah, shit, man. Awesome. Thank you for exactly explaining that out. 2,600 is a much better number, Thrust. Yeah, That's true. So it should be exact. Yeah, you should change it to 2,600. That's cool, man. Because I... then at least they have a chance. They have a chance yeah, there's of getting a, there's, it. Yeah, and there's some internal like logic to that, which yep. is great. Yep. 
But yeah, man, when you're being trolled on the internet, there's only one option. Walk away. <laughs> That's right. Do not engage the well, trolls. Well, she's like, she's like, now she's like, I'm going to email the people who run Poker no, Stars and they're not no, responding to me. And I'm like, no. I'm like, you don't get it. The, they're winning. <laughs> yeah. You emailing people means that they're winning they right now. They accomplished their goal. Yeah. It's like, they all they care about is... <laughs> this, the saying is, do not feed the trolls. Yep, man. And that means engaging, answering them, doing anything. Doing it all. Their goal is getting a reaction. Exactly. No matter what the reaction is, negative, positive, anything. And this is a really interesting thing because that, like, I feel like that's something as like a millennial, like we just get that. That's just part of our ethos. Yeah. Well, we've but, had to deal with it. We've heard about it. But older people, it's like people lie on the internet. internet? They said, "What the? Can hell? you believe what this person said to me?" <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm like, actually, that should that's be illegal. That's not like even remotely the worst thing someone said to me on the internet. Like, that's not. You know, would you say that to someone in person? Of course not. No, but they're not in person. They have the the ability of um, tr like anonymity. Yeah. Uh, and she oh, was 53 is his favorite number. Ah, oh, cool, Jesus, man. It almost works out perfectly. I would do. Yeah, man. I would do maybe the range. So you could do anything over 2600 to two, like 2600 and 2700, because then you you bring in. 2600 and your favorite number yeah but thanks for sharing your easter egg on the yeah screen, thank man. you so much badass. that would have been like i would never oh would guess that we wouldn't have even been close to... like first f figuring out the number second yeah. figure out you have to hold down select after you figure out the number oh my god nightmare nightmare <laughs> that's a hard one Hell but yeah. a very cool result well we're lucky that we don't have I don't think we've ever had any trolls knock on wood here, which is I really. I think so. But now we've opened the door for it. Totally. <laughs> we've, now that we're saying it, it's like. Yeah. You know. um, so we're going to move on to the third game, which uh, is an update to cool. Work in Progress by VHZC. Um, I'll let you add it. Um, it's fun. About to get my ass There's not really. Like, like with his games, it's hard to give instructions. Because each level is different, and the mechanic in each level and is different. And part of the game is figuring that out, I guess. It, it is. It's like, oh, what, what is? The, how do I figure this level out? So don't touch anything yet. It's got a nice... The Rafflecopter. Go, Rafflecopter. Just doing its thing. So, uh, this is by Vladimir Zuniga, a.k.a. John Von Neumann, a.k.a. VHZC. First posted in October, oh, t October 19th, 2018. And this build is from November... Uh, 9th, 2018, we last played this, October six, October 26th last year. Whoa. But we didn't follow up and play the newest version of it, which added a whole bunch more levels. So this one has 23 levels, and we're going to beat it. Okay. Um, oh, shit. So, uh, yeah, VHLC is from Chile. Oh, really? Yes. Um, so his last post is, uh, the 16K 23 screen version is basically completed. I will not add more levels. I will only polish it and debug it if needed. But when things get more relaxed at work, I plan to extend, extend peril to a 32K version with hopefully 36 screens. Wow, man. Same with Night Guy, he says. So. I appreciate your dedication to the levels. Shit, and and that's the great thing about his game is the levels. Oh, is the it's... level design. So let's do it. Get in there. Oh, shit. So do I fly down? What, 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 what's going on here? You're, uh, I'll tell you, the goal in this game always is to get to the opening at the end of this uh, level. So go down there. And that's that's the goal oh. every level. So the next one is down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Obviously, getting <laughs> blasted not fly by into some that. lasers is not what and we And this want. is the first game where he used these this laser. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't touch the laser. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I just um, didn't realize that everything's a threat. Everything. Every, do not touch anything. Um, and this is the first game he used these lasers where it kind of dims the screen a bit when the lasers go on. This is very which cool. Which is a, a simulated exposure change, which is such I an amazing it, idea in a 2600 game. I feel like game. Those, those lasers look a little roach-like, which, <laughs> which is great. What's this thing on the wall, do you think? Oh, you can t turn off the lasers a little bit early if you shoot it oh, from over there. Oh, that's but, sick. Okay. But they're just as easy to pass on the bottom oh, as they I, are on the top. I'm understanding this. Oh, they're like vice grips. Jesus. Oh, okay. We, you lose. Or uh, you want to give it another go? Well, yeah, because I just, I just figured out how to like play the game. 
It's I mean, every it level. Is, it is every level, but it's like. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to be able. to... An overall, how do I get a sense do anything? of this thing? Yeah. It's a VHZC game for sure. VH is that right? VHZC, yeah. yeah. All the hallmarks, right? Every level's different. Unique puzzle in each game. Uh, Ninja Sky actually has forty screens by now, and since some of them have to be passed twice, the total playable screens are fifty. Oh my god, 50 levels in Ninja Sky. <clears throat> the amazing thing about this is he's got like five games on the go right now and he's not finished any of them. <laughs> and so I expect one day he's going to be like, here, I'm putting out five games into the market all at once. You think I can shoot this thing? Uh, that one, yes. You, I'm just going to tell you, you have to shoot it. That's kind of what I figured. Yep. Goodbye. So some, some things you do have to shoot. Whew. He's going to come for you. Dodge shoot. and shoot. Dodge and shoot. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to shot him once. There you go. A ro hey, a roach in space is, is ready and it will be a physical release. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it, he's got man. one ready. Okay, I want to kill Excellent. this guy. Come that on. That is true. Roach in space is, is being this, released, is this, isn't it? Is this like... Am I able to kill this guy? Oh, yeah. It takes a lot of shots. Oh, now. my God. Ooh. Yeah, it's the floating eyeball. Magic 8-Ball. Coming, coming to kill you. Will I defeat this game, or will James prospects? <laughs> 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 Is a Roach in Space on sale at PRGE this year? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh, fuck. Is it? Okay, I was like, for a second, I just... You thought it was a moving one? Yeah. Was... Okay, this one is challenging. Oh, yeah. Okay, so a roach in space is being sold oh. uh, this year at PRG. So his first game is uh, is getting released for sale, and I'm very looking forward to buying it. Oh, oh timing. I wonder if this game has um, bonus hearts, like Ninjish guy. Oh. oh, no. All your lives oh, yeah. in one spot. Come on. It's going to yeah, just, just spike, I guarantee it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you made so it. So stressful. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. What? What? This is the best enemy. Oh, my God. Look at that crawling spider enemy. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> just stay far this away from the bullets. Okay. Beautiful enemy. Prime boss. You want to make something um, creepy? <laughs> That's creepy. A spider or a snake. <laughs> yes. Primal uh, triggering of archetypes are oh, real. Yeah. And Ninja Sky will be demoed in PRG. That's excellent. excellent. So I only have like one life left. Maybe the eyeball should co change colors. Yeah, cycling through the colors. But. Um, I thought it looked cool just going through the Whoa. colors. A rainbow cycle is overdone. Yeah, rainbow is a bit much. Because it's too easy. Like, this one gets hit and it goes red when you hit it. That's beautiful simplicity for um, a boss. I mean, it's always good to have bosses that tell you when they're close to dying. Like, they start flashing or they change color to, like, a, a different... So you're on level 8 out of 23. Now, I don't think I've ever made it this far. Because I've never seen this level yet. Oh, because I didn't have this level when I was playing it. Oh. oh I just got scared. Now it's my turn. Level 8. Yeah, man, I'm not... I'm, I certainly am not the best at games like this, but like I enjoy them. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> this one's deceptive. It's like, oh, look, I can just so go. So easy. No. No, no, no. Take your time. Especially every level, you kind of want to analyze it for a bit first. Unless it's a boss, because then they're just going to come out. You just got to fight it, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to take this out. It's a good idea. It's okay. just so much easier. Oof, barely skimmed those. Yeah, 
This is a patience game. Yep. Yeah, his games are some of my favorite because just the variety of of like moving yeah. obstacles are so great. This guy's harder than the spider, man. For sure. Oh, you can just hold it down? So much easier. Dude, that's where I fail at these games all the time. There's just stupid little things. I make it so hard on myself. Because I just, I get it in my head that I'm like, I, I'm not allowed to do certain things. Right. Which are like, so dumb. Because of course you can just hold down the button. But I'm like, no, I can only shoot one that's bullet. A, it's, it's a common thing in Atari games. Um, holding down the button. That one's so. dangerous. Not hard, but dangerous. But this is one where this you can't really like, hold no. down the button. Because you can't get close enough to him. Yeah, if you did, it's just death. death. Like, it's you, not smart. It's risky. It's super risky. You could do it because he does shoot at regular intervals, but nah, I wouldn't bother. But he does stay on you, so the trick is to like, oops, shoot in the direction he is. <laughs> um, kind of shoot and move, shoot and move. Okay, what is this one? This is follow the guy. I mean, you can do two ways. You can, yeah, actually, you can only do one way. Yep. And you just have to do it. And then you're safe. Yeah. Here. Then you're good. And then this you just... is timing. It's not too bad. No, not too bad oh, at all. Oh my god. Okay, now what do I do? You this just gotta just take your dodging. time. This is just a dodging one. Okay. There's no time limit, so you don't have to get too crazy. Oh, I love that. Oh, I did make it here last time. I remember that. Or maybe yeah, this, it was in a different... This eyeball? That was in okay. a ninja-ish guy. He yeah. Had, he had that. That's such a cool little add-on. Fuck, this is a tough one. Yeah, I think Not you're too good. Bad. Just gotta wait. Ah, uh, dude, I would be proud of the spider sprite too, man. Oh my god. Oh no, a dark level. Oh my god, I hate dark levels. As long as there's no enemies that move around here. Oh, there's gonna be enemies. <laughs> there better not be. This looks like a straightforward, just not even a maze, but just like take it slow, watch for walls. The labyrinth is dark. Yes. The center is I the think minotaur. It's just gonna be back and forth each time. Oh, that one's a little. Oh, yay! Oh, yes, I'm getting that. Ooh, you motherfucker! Oh, it's right there. So next time you know that. That's brilliant. I don't think it was there. No, I don't think it was, man. I guarantee you that's. Mm. Uh... I don't think I've lost a life yet. I need them. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Level ten. Dude, he, he even set us up. He's like, there's a trigger in that screen trying try to, to find, find it. it. Oh, so the trigger you didn't even have to do. I just happened to see it. Oh, so you could just finish this level without worry. It's probably what, what I would have done. <laughs> no, <laughs> no we wouldn't have known about it. Oh, I no. guarantee you. Okay, this next part. Is there enough? There's not much room. I'm going to stay up. Ooh, there is enough room, is there? Yeah, just enough. Okay. Let's yeah, see. and then you got to do the same thing. Oh God, with less room. It's very, it's very elegantly designed, actually. Yeah, so one is recycled for the next part. And then Ooh. the bottom one is a bit harder, even. Yeah. Okay, that Dude. was that was. What? Whoa! What? Oh! Oh God! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. That's a long way to go. Okay. Oh, wow, they come together from two different spots. Oh, God. Okay, what is happening here? You gotta just run for it? Can I move that fast? Uh, there's spots that you're safe, right? So, like, memorize oh. where you're safe. So, like, you see a dot. It, it is bump, the same pattern. It bumps up, so, for example... There's not much room, though. Um, that's my sense. God damn it. Okay. 
Because I think you just need one spot that's one safe. One safe, and then run for it That's what I would do, so I yeah. will... Yeah, yeah, this is very Donkey Kong. -y. Oh God! Oh God! What is happening? Oh God! That's Bullet a, that's time. A, that's a Mega Man. Um, is that hurting him? Yes. That's a Mega Man. Um, Holy character shit. that does that. Very cool. Wow. Where it builds itself, and you have to avoid. Damn it! Avoid the pieces of itself building itself. Oh, I bet it's gonna do it again. Oh, Fuck. God. Yes. Oh, my God. Please let this be the last time he does that. Wow, that's amazing. That's a hell of a level design, man. God damn. <laughs> Once again, man, you're the one with the chance to damn beat it. this game. There's no fucking way <laughs> I, I, I'm going to no? be able to, to get this far. Ugh, why do I keep turning around? Yeah, your 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 precision is is just a lot higher than mine. Oh my God, with, with joysticks, man. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, definitely. And it's gotten so it's much better. Beautiful to go to the next level. It's gotten so much better I since we've so. done the show too. Yeah. Your skill level is getting very high. <laughs> Thankfully, because like I think it's helped me with the Activision challenges. Oh, like oh, I'd imagine I imagine the Activision challenges have helped you <laughs> with this stuff. Uh, you more know, so actually, those are really hard. They're both. There's oh, a. God. They're both related. God damn it. What the hell? Once again, though, just this one's just. Well, that water droplet's random, random. Oh God, is it? Yes, and it covers the whole section. Okay, I can go down here safely. But then what? Randomness, or is it? One, one, three, two, two. Yeah. Well, one thing you can no. tell for sure There's is no that it spot. doesn't seem to go in the same spot twice. Uh, it does. Yeah, it did ones, two ones in a row. I'll check, though. So if it, if, no, see, it did same twice spot. in a row. You just have to go for it. Oh, well, it's not too bad. It's if you get near the top and it's about to drop, then you're in trouble. So that's the big pause. So I'll go on the left here. Oh, it's down here too. Okay. So you just gotta move with it. Yeah. That's the only way. Barely. Ah! Jesus oh Christ. Oh, don't come up here. Oh, can I shoot that? Can I dodge it? Oh, there's some spots. This is, this there's definitely spots. spots. So, like, the main spot is I'm if you're. I'm safe up in the top here. And then I'm safe in the top corner there. What? Oh, he comes down at an angle. Well, the best way to do it is top right of yeah. this thing, right? Oh, my last life. So if you go up to the... Th yeah. I just do another one, man. Uh, water drop is slow enough. Just move when it's falling. Yeah. Okay. He's right. Grr! What level was I on? 15? Uh, yeah, I think so. Out of what, 28? <laughs> 23. 23? Oh, so that's not as uh, bad. Yeah. Not too bad. just have to keep all my lives. But I know Good how to... sound design for this. Oh, yeah. The buzz. Actually, it's pretty quiet. You guys can't really hear it. Oh, yeah, because we turned it down. Different games have different volume levels, so... Yeah, and that other one just had music while we were talking that was just like... Doo, 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 you know? There we go. No time limit. That is nice. Can you yeah, imagine this game one with a time other. limit? Oh, oh God, God, no thank you. I mean, there. I guess there's points. Um, but are the points related to, like... How uh, fast oh. you complete it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I don't care. I'm all about levels. Until I complete the game, I don't care. Yeah, about yeah. Points. It's like, who gives a shit how many points? Yeah. Once you've completed the game, then you can do a point run. Or I guess a speed run, because that relates to points. 
God, this feels like Night Guy in Low Res World more than Roach in Space, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Magic 8 Ball. A Beholder. Yeah, you only need about, yeah, a Beholder. You only need about three times to shoot it. No! It's not easy, man, because you want to, like, push down. But yep. then the issue is, is the second that you push down. There's not much room. And the, guy, the helicopter moves fast, which you want it to. But to get that precision. Oh, my God. Oh, this one is. Whoa. Easy. <laughs> it's the probably the sort easiest level. Of? I mean, this is the coolest level design of all time, man. Oh yeah, it's insane. Damn it! This design's oh, as good as God, anything can be, right? This is about as good as it oh, gets, yeah. honestly. For animation. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. This is a real, weird. to me, a real benchmark of um just just character design. Like, oh yeah. Like what a great what a great thing. This crazy like spider. There's a lot of good shit. I love, too, that he... And I'm, this is something that's really cool is he has a brand, almost. So he's got a style of things like this sort of shirkin type stuff. And, mm -hmm. You know, so it's neat because it's like, you know, it's very versatile, his style. So you get to kind of see it applied to different circumstances, which is so cool. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to blow my nose again. Okay. Yeah, like those shurikens, I've seen them before. Those are like yep. in um, Roach in Space. I think we killed some of those. So, yes. And that eye is another game. It's ninja. I'll definitely need that extra life now. We'll see if it's there I or don't not. think it's there. I guarantee you it isn't. No, it's not there. So you have to go through the maze and then do the maze again, but in the light. So that's fine. Way easier. Maze doesn't change. So. Where's the switch? Did you shoot it? Yeah, it's right here. There we go. Give me that extra life. I've already used two of them. Ugh. I think it might give you four. Terrible. No, no just, just one. one. Yeah, because in, in, in Night Guy, it gives you full. Does it? Yeah. Uh, this you is have... much harder. Yes. Does it give less lives, though? Or not? I don't know. Yeah, I start with five in this. But I think you have less No, but lives. I mean in, in, in Night Guy, I think you I have think less. You do. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh, this one is not super easy. Patience. No, it's okay, it's not too bad. Just getting your helicopter down low enough. Shoot! Die, die, die! Yeah, you you've lost quite a few lives on like early stuff, so this is this is a good sign for the run, honestly. Because, like, um, you know, if you can see how far you can get, and then if you can get through some of these earlier levels without dying, that'll... Yeah, well, that's a lot. That's for sure. Already doing better than I do. <laughs> Even with death. <laughs> but at least I know what to do on a lot of these now, and I'm not as... I don't take as long, I guess, if that's a bonus. Better for the show, the fact that it's like... Jesus, I did die there last time. Though. Oh yes, he said the heart is not at, at the beginning of the dark level because your light is, is in fact a player 2 sprite. So mm. when you shot the trigger, the sprite is released and you can convert it into the heart. Uh, okay. Shit, man. You didn't even need to tell us that. I just assumed that it was like a feature. That's the thing, man. It again. It's like the oldest, the old yeah. like programmer joke. It's like, what's a feature? A bug dressed up in a suit. <laughs> That's you right. know, you look at the bugs, the challenges you have, you're like, how can this be a feature? Keep wanna going. Go? No? Do you wanna try? Uh maybe I'll yeah, I'll try one. Okay. Let's see how far I can get. I don't think I'll do particularly well. <sighs> okay. I was just messing up and I shouldn't. In any of the, I shouldn't have died at all throughout all the levels I just played. There's a rhythm to this, eh? Yep. Yay! Oof! Oof. 
just skirting them. <laughs> My god. Chomp. These remind Three me teeth. these remind me of the Castlevania spikes. In Castlevania oh. there's 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 always the spikes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like like he, he could have made it into spikes. Like very thin spikes. But uh yeah, he has he has a chunky Ugh. Oh no, you, you can only shoot it so many times. Yeah. And you gotta leave enough time to, to run. There you go. It's not too bad. No, not too yeah. bad at all. Ugh, see Even like leaving is some dangerous sometimes, right? Well it just feels like I don't know how far I can go. You know? mm. It's it's tricky. what this genre would be called it's not a platformer per se because you're flying but it's in definitely in the same yeah realm it's as you're right it's 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 a weird genre it's it's kind of like a puzzle game but not like it, it's it's kind of puzzly Things like that in Princess Rescue. Shooting blocks gives chance of power-ups, but not if enemy is on the screen because of player Dude, use. Yeah. I'd like to play Princess Rescue someday. I've oh, heard so yeah, many things about it. it. It's uh, it's really good. It's really, really Are we really allowed good to play it on the show, though? <laughs> yes, yes, we are. We can do whatever we want. It's, it's the programmer that gets in trouble for, yeah. for you know, making the game. The... The problem with that, it wasn't Princess Rescue. That name was fine. It was the the sprites and the music. If he had changed, if he had changed the sprites, I think, to make it not look like Mario, not look like the characters from from you, Mario. You know, Brothers, and that's also the the, the, the most the, music, uh, I believe, too. the most intense IP of all time, really. Mario like, Brothers and, and Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's and it is like, especially for gaming. Like man, oh, they've milked yeah. that fucking franchise. At but this it's, point, it's he keeps they keep making good games with him. Oh too. my god, so it's I'm, totally like if they kept putting out terrible games, then it's be like okay, you know that enough is enough. Oh shit, you know it goes right across. Great sounds too, very mechanical. You gotta move. Ugh, fuck. You gotta follow it and move right away. There you go. There you go. And that's not too bad. Oh, I read it was just the music. Oh, really? I mean, they could go after uh, him for the look as well, because I'm sure they have um, um, have an intellectual property claim on on the look of Mario. It wouldn't surprise me because they man. have to protect people from making T-shirts with Mario on them, right? Just because you don't put the word Mario or Nintendo or anything, and somebody's selling T-shirts with with Mario on it, it's like, yeah, for sure they're going to go after that person. It's funny because how off-key everything actually is, yeah, because he didn't use, um, he just used the basic default um, um, music. Because well, I believe he did in Batari Basic? Well, the whole thing is just a little bit too cheeky to be like, Princess <laughs> Rescue, music, same, it's just like... I think it's fine um, to, to do that because it never existed on the 2600. Like, the game never was never put out. They had no interest in ever making a 2600 game in, in the year 20, 2000, whatever it came out, to 7 or whatever. They're not it's, losing any money. I think the issue is, is it's like trying to, you know, put, like, a like Michael Jackson song in, like, a movie. You know, it's just, it's, t it's too, it's almost too iconic, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it starts out as like, can I do this? Can I? Can it be converted over? Is there enough room and uh, power in the twenty six hundred to be able to? You're doing it really good. I don't know, man. This is this is where things <laughs> this get. Is where dicey. things get. Yes, precision definitely matters. I wonder if you can fly the helicopter just. Uh, all the way over if you time it right. Fucking, I don't think you can. Dude, I'm just gonna fucking do it. You're gonna do it? No, no. 
no. <laughs> you had nowhere near enough time. But I think you could if you timed it right, because you went very late. Oh, it squished you. It squished you. That's that's the level that is the the that real. Is, that's a challenging one. It takes a little bit of time. That's I feel like that's the Donkey Kong level. <laughs> well, you know how Donkey Kong has arcs, right? And you have to. Oh, you have the to bouncing put, springs. Exactly. Yeah, that's have, the hard. You have to put yourself, and and the game is actually more about understanding the trajectory of things that's and pathetic. positioning yourself. It I is. loved in that King of Kong movie. He had all these layouts on his thing, right? He had different like. I think that was just for the film. They, oh, you, what? or to demonstrate well for how he was, practiced probably yeah. he probably like mm. spent some time figuring it out yeah it was definitely used as a visual device in the film and it very effectively too to to get across how hard it is to hide from those yeah and that that it actually is a, the, but the, that it is it comes down to math and, and geometry at a certain yeah. point and visualizing the arcs of things yeah um I played Donkey Kong once, um, I didn't do too well. <laughs> it's a hard game. I played it on Game Boy, original game. actually, was what I played oh, yeah? it on. I had it, yeah, that was the f one of the first um, things I played. Oh, was on, was on your game first Boy. video game system? Yeah, my very first game system was NES actually. Oh, okay, um, so you go pretty far. Yeah, but it was because um, um, my uncle's friend, he lived in this like apartment complex. Yeah. And um, my uncle's like schizophrenic, so mm -hmm. like the place was all these kind of people who were, you know, on hardcore antipsychotics. <laughs> and what was really yeah. interesting was that he would babysit me, and so I would go to this guy's house, and he was like Damn a little it. kid in a lot of ways, because he was like, you know, he was in his 30s, but, you know, that's what happens when you have a mental illness like oh, that. I accidentally pushed up. And so yeah. he had an NES, and he would, and I would just play games on his NES. Mm. And my parents got mad at me because they're like, "Oh, you shouldn't be hanging out at some random guy's place playing NES." <laughs> and I was like, "Why not?" They're like, "It's well, for, fun." They're like, "For many reasons, Ireland. <laughs> let's let's leave it at that." Yes. Um, but that was the first one, and then he ended up um, passing away and gave me and my sister the the the, oh, the wow. system. That's awesome. Um, and it was so nice. it was this weird thing. So that was our first one, and then I'd say. Um, the next one was uh, was Game Boys, and then N sixty four was the big one. Uh, okay, um, that is definitely my least favorite Nintendo system. <laughs> it's the N sixty four. Weird controller. There's never been a controller like that, no. nor will they ever make one like no, that again. Ever. It's they pretty much standardized controllers at this point, except well, for Nintendo. It was a weird one because like Nintendo how it's with the crazy. three. It's like why would you think three is good? <laughs> I don't have three hands. Yeah, it's such a it's the weirdest controller of all time. And they I wanted flexibility because you use it in different ways for different games. Totally. Like one is the, like for triggers, right? And um and so the big games I played were um all the classic ones on that console. Like the biggest ones were uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. And then um, Mario sixty four was a was a oh, very of cool course. game. That one is actually used well for the yeah, system. Yeah, that's probably one of the. Those are the two Whoa. kind of like ones that have stuck around. I played a lot of Castlevania sixty four, which is okay. Really, I loved it, but um, it doesn't hold up. It's not a great game. Yeah, it's, it's because it's extraordinarily difficult camera system because of the three D. Oh, yeah, that um, was the first kind of people trying to figure out cameras. And it wasn't ha once you figured it out, it was actually pretty fun. But it, it took a while. Like, if we were playing that game right now, we would put it down and stop playing it because <laughs> we'd be like, fuck this camera. But when you're like, I don't know, like 10, like, you don't you don't have that uh, perspective. No. You, you, well, you didn't know what was bad or good. It was no, just, I just, this is the way it is. I was like, this is part of the part of the challenge. And there's some good puzzles and stuff. And then actually the first game that came with it was Pod Racing, which was the... Okay. Because it came with like a... I was able to buy the system and... And, but I, I really didn't like I've never been a, a racing guy like I don't yeah, love games like I. that so yeah. I played it but I was definitely um, you know but it was one of those it was again that weird thing where I was like man these prequels seem to be just designed to sell shit like this right <laughs> like you know was, oh, even yeah. then I was like well like why did they have the pod racing scene in the thing oh because and they're so featured and so long because they're selling this game okay sadly that was one of the better parts of the movie I know <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. The N64 has ah oh, has Star Wars pod racing without the cutscenes on the Mac slash PC. And then oh, I you can just bypass it. You don't need to hide. 
fuck that level. Okay, good. Oh god. So I feel that they divided the N64 controller to make um, Nunchuck and Classic controller for Wii. That's absolutely what they did. Mm. Um, I remember seeing that pointed out, um, and that's just so much better because then it's like it's versatile for different things. Um, also, there was a there was a um, Pokemon game that mm. kind of connected your your like Game Boy to N64 oh, and 3D yeah. and stuff, but it never really. I mean, the Pokemon was always fun on Game Boy because it was. Died. Camera's feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh yeah, we just lost hot, signal. Hot, hot, Oh no! God, it's so hot out today. And well, past the week. Turn it off and we'll turn it back on. Thanks for letting us know. Then adjust the zoom so it's not so far out. Oh my god, I died immediately. That was terrible. Oh, if you hit, if you stay at the top, you can't uh -oh. die. Oh my god. Hey, so. Press the play button. Okay, good. Sorry, friends. This is sick. A little shot of uh, pixel there. I mean, it's a cute photo. Yeah. Just includes a little slice of the the shelves at the top. Yay, got it. Sick. Yeah, and then PlayStation Two was the next big leap, which yeah. was just light years ahead. Oh god. Yeah. And then and then Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty after that, which was light years ahead again. Yeah, and then <laughs> now it's three D. Oh my god, is insane. And then that was the last console that I that I bought. I mean, my roommate oh, has a PS Four. Your PC person then. Yeah, it just made more sense to me. Just so much more versatile. And most of the games I like are keyboard and mouse stuff, anyways. Right. Like, like yeah, all this, all the games I reference on the show that I like are none of them are really console games. Right. Um. Come on. Hardest. One genre that I loved was the the Tony Hawk games. Oh, I really like th those games are really fun and and. Uh... Finally, oh my god! I have one life left. Is this where I died? No, I made this one. It's the next cat one. cam. The cat cam. Yeah. Yeah, this shit's. <sighs> keep going. Keep pushing. Oh yeah, it's just I'm making stupid mistakes. And I don't. More lives. And I honestly don't know if I would buy another console. No. I probably just upgrade my computer. Well, the consoles are to a point where they are just computers. Yeah. They're just underpowered. Oh, Mario Kart. You're right, man. I used to play a shit ton of Mario Kart too. You're. You th thanks for mentioning that one. Cause yeah, I, I like Mario Kart a lot. How was it on the 64? Oh, it was great. Was it one? That was one of the best games actually as well. I. I, I it's a good thing you brought it up because um, I'd say Mario Kart, um, Ocarina of Time, and um, Mario 64 were kind of, yeah. those are really the three. Also, there's just, people still play those games, yes. and um, also there's crazy amount of speed running when it comes to oh, yes. uh, Mario 64, and Ocarina yeah. of Time is, is, and the, Mario Kart. is the most speed run game ever. Like, there's so many, I shouldn't say ever, one of the most, the most speed run <laughs> game for N64. There we go, because that's, that is true. Um, and like, there's all these videos of people like um, coming up with like getting like Japanese consoles because there's things you can do to like do special yeah. level jumps. Like, oh yeah, it's really insane. Also, um, Goldeneye as well is a popular. That's one true. Too. I I um, look at Goldeneye and it's like, oh, that hasn't aged well. It's no. hard to tell what the hell's going on. Goldeneye was just like you know it's great for the time. I think that was the first first person shooter I played, and then the next one was Unreal Tournament. I played a lot of Unreal Tournament on um, PlayStation Two as well as on computer, um, and I liked Unreal Tournament a lot. I still do actually. I think the guns in Unreal are brilliant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very. There's so many variations. That's what makes Unreal Tournament one of the best um, games, for first person shooters, really. Um, can stay ahead of him just yeah, barely and just, and just hammer on him and but he you're not a first person you. shooter guy are you uh no not in general yeah I, I do play them like if you consider uh like borderlands is a first person shooter yeah, but that's not like that one. you don't like borderlands no. i love borderlands i like borderlands too i played so much of that it's game. just a here's a mass of people shoot them you go to the next level here's a mass of people shoot them on a different terrain and go to the next level totally i like like fallout is 
Fallout would be considered a first-person shooter. Definitely. And any of the Which uh, Fallout's Elder, your favorite? Elder Scrolls. I've only played um, New Vegas and, and three. 3, and yeah. we have 4 sitting upstairs. 4 wasn't as cool, games. man. I wasn't as into 4 myself. Mm. Um, but I think it was because I played so much 3 in New Vegas that it, it just... No! <laughs> it just felt to me like it was the same IP, you know? Oh, yeah. It was just like... It no, was, just think of it as an add-on. Yeah, I and, guess. and like the game itself is cooler in terms of like, um, you know, all the mechanics and stuff. Like they certainly, they improved it in all the ways that to me are, um, you know, the gameplay and graphics improvements. Mm. But the actual game itself didn't feel as cool. Um, Whoa. There were things in Fallout New Vegas that are as good as any game ever. Yeah. Um, and Fallout 3 as well. Um, but it's also the thing about those games is they're very cool kind of milieus to play in. But once you figure out like what their bit is, it's a little less cool. Mm. You know, because part of the fun is discovering like this post-apocalyptic world and it the is. weird, you know, all the weird food items and like the radiation and the stuff. But then on a second playthrough, it's like, oh no, I have to slog through all this. Yeah, but it's all the same here shit. And get here and yeah. So there's certain games where you just stop playing after a while because it just they don't present anything new to you. Yeah, there's and no. Those are hard ones to keep up, keeping presenting new things. <laughs> Yeah, and their their challenge is just not that high. Yeah. Like, I... It'd be very difficult um, to not be able to beat Fallout, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Depends what setting you're on, I guess. But... Yeah, I think Fallout doesn't have... I think Fallout's one really? setting. Oh. Skyrim's multiple. Like, there's for sure, like, certain... The hardest difficulty of Skyrim would be, like, a different story. Hey, fuck Forget yeah, Forget hiding, oh, it's yeah. too hard. Okay, I hit at the top, and it didn't kill me. Uh -huh. That'll save me a lot of lives. Oh, V says, he says, when I was a kid, I played a lot of FPSs. You played uh, Doom, Quake, and such. Oh, but later, I played those. I, I developed on the um, myopia in only one of my eyes, and now I, I got really sick when I try to play FPSs. Oh, no. Yeah, that's too bad, man. Sometimes there's some settings you can do to make it easier, but I get mm. it. If you got some shit going on, there's no way that it's happening. And Doom and Quake are good games. Doom is Doom 3 is a really cool game for um, Xbox, I believe. Top. Uh, one of the things I like about Doom 3 is that... I think you should change this level so you can get hit by that thing reappearing. I mean, I don't want to do that, but you can avoid it at the top. Doom 3 was is one of the darkest games, and the coolest thing about uh, Doom 3 and Xbox is that you can only hold your flashlight or your gun. So you can <laughs> see the enemies, but you can't shoot them, and you can shoot them. I bet that made a lot of memes. Them. Oh, so it's... Get some duct tape, god damn that's it. That's right. Later in the game, you get both, but like there's oh, some early okay. levels, which are really immersive because of that. It's such a great mechanic. Um, I, but I like games that's like funny. that that remove like your ability to do so. But you're right. Get some duct tape, kids. Come <laughs> on. Put it under your arm. Tape it to your helmet. Do something. Have you ever played the Mass Effect games? No, I haven't. You'd like those. Those are yeah. some of the best stories. Um, Bioware. Stories have to be kind of light, not too intensive um, for me. Um, it's it's science fiction, so it's yeah. it's really cool. Um, the first one's great. I wouldn't recommend any of the others. The other ones are good games, but the first one is like legitimately good story. Uh, okay, I see how you do it. But Bioware is a very special uh, developer. Mm. Really special because they did Baldur's Gate. Okay. Um, and they were just a bunch of nerds who like played. I've only lost one life. Yes. Okay, you're getting. <laughs> getting there. Oh my god. So what I have noticed is in the co top corners you can't get killed. So yeah. top right corner, for example. Yeah. You that's can't what get I'm killed. Go for. Top left corner. So I would say you almost want to just chill out in the corners. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then. All, it does that every time. Ex yeah. If you notice, and then he's got the same corner on the top um, left, right? So you can do the same thing, yeah. And now you He's can do so the precise, same with the though. same with the top right. Once you once you get it. And then I have to probably shoot that guy. Um, I think I can stay. Let's high. see. I think top left, you're actually fine. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. And now just shoot it. See what happens. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Bam! And now you get to go down. Yay! Level sixteen. Oh god. Okay. Ooh, what? Boy, oh boy, the oh top boy, corners oh boy. seem to be safe again. 
Uh, the top... Not that one. Okay, so the top right corner is cool. You see top that? Top right, lower and then left, bottom left. Top right. Yeah. Okay. I just do it, man. I mean, you can wait, but it's gonna it might kill you for the peers. Yeah, yeah, you're good. No, I'm good. I like that. The crazy sounds. Lower right. Yeah, good sounds. This is top. Knew it. So it's touchy, hard shit, this man. So touchy because the copter goes so fast. But but yeah, Bioware is probably my favorite developers, and they like um uh, they were just a bunch of kids who played D and D together. Like their Baldur's Gate game is cool because they're all the characters they used to just play when they were kids, mm. all put into the game. Ooh, lightning. And Baldur's Gate, the coolest thing about Baldur's Gate is you have a party. Yeah. And if you put an evil character and a good character in your party, eventually they'll just kill each other. <laughs> really? Yeah, the, eventually one in person your own party? Yeah, because cuz cuz one and funny. then the, one will encourage you to do shit, right? Like one will oh be like God. we should probably do this. And if you start to become too evil, your um good characters will just leave you. So it's very immersive shit because it's like you know. Wow. That's so awesome. See if you can shoot it. I don't think so. I don't think you can shoot anything. Whoa. So there's a very limited moment you have. When? After right it after it drops it? it. That's your moment, like right? For a millisecond. Yeah, and then you pop down. Oh my god. You got it. Nice zappers. What do these guys do? They just pop up. So the first Actually, row I, is I really... I just go down here again. Uh... I mean, you could if you wanted to. Like there. I mean, it, it's certainly safer to do the nah, other I way. Do this. That's easier. Bam! Got it. Oh God! Why? Why VHZC? Because he's a sadist man. He knows. He knows how to. He knows how to make us suffer. Boss? Any triggers? Two possible ways. It's just the ascending tones, man. Do, Build do, tension. Do, 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 do. I hope there's another life in this one, actually. Because I need it. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, it can tell you where the walls are. Uh -huh. Bam. See? There's the wall. A little bit of a hint there. That's useful. It's very useful. Yeah. I haven't seen any buttons yet, though. There we go. He said, I don't remember if I put a trigger. Thank you, VHC. You did put a trigger. Yeah, I'm back man. to five lives again. Four more levels. Close. Four. 20, 21, 22, 22. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. A boss. Whoa. Okay, I can only shoot him through that opening, I'm guessing. Yep. Luckily, Look. he kind of hangs around there. Is that a crab? That feels like a space oh, crab. Oh, yes. He's to a me. sideways space crab. I shouldn't say space crab. It could be <laughs> just a crab. A space. But man, I wanted to be a space crab. That's so much cooler. Wow, what a great enemy. Shoots two different types of bullets. Yeah, this is badass, Luckily, man. Luckily, the bullets are kind of together all the time. Yeah, so it's like a little bit easier to sort of deal with. It's not too bad of a level, actually. It's good. Good boss, though. Oh, let's shoot. Face the right direction. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just, uh... That's not too bad. Down? Guessing. Yeah. Usually down. The other um the other cool thing about oh, God. um twenty one. The other cool thing about Baldur's Gate yeah. as an RPG is that there's levels it doesn't scale with you. So there's things that like mm. will just fucking d kill you instantly, and so it's very cool because in the early game you'll be exploring and you'll just get massacred, and you'll go, oh well, I guess I just have to come back here later, oh, which is which okay. is to me an, cool. an old school um, RPG style because oh, the new style uh, is all is in space. Yes, dude. <laughs> space thank you. helicopters. <laughs> this one you have to just go every time. You cannot. Uh, you don't have time to waste. And this is a safe spot, I believe. I think so. We're going to find out <laughs> real fast. Yeah. Yep. And then the other one is a safe spot over there. Okay. Yeah. I uh, should wait. Because um, Skyrim and all those <clears throat> ones scale with you. So it's like, well, why would I ever want to level up? Like, why would, right. you know, why would I ever... Oh, yeah, there's no like, point what the What's up. the point? And then also the the items scale with you, too. So it's like... Oh, so... So I don't... I've never... I don't like that game design at mm. all. I'm like, well, there's no incentive for the player to keep... 
pushing. Oh, God. Okay, I'm safe here. Okay. Okay. Regular intervals of bullets. I just get just get in between them, man. That's that's probably the. But the, they change like where they're firing. So you want to stay at the top for sure. They don't come over this far. Oh, they do come over this far. I don't think they fire over here. Yeah, this is not easy. <laughs> That's where I lose lives, I think. Okay. Yay! Oh. Oh god, it's the boss. Holy shit. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, so there's only one option. I'm gonna stay on one side. That's a good idea. And just duck down. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, he's firing faster now. No, he's not gonna die. Oh, no. Thank not. God you got all those lives, man. Oh, fire when he's far away. There he's facing the opposite direction. Yeah, that's the only option, man. And just one slowly hit steal, steal one at a time. Patience, patience, patience. Yeah. It's gonna be a long track. Oh, he only fires at the top. Should I go down? I don't think I wanted to. No, because you'll just get squished. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he does. He goes right to the edge. Yeah, there's no point this in going This is down. the only way. The only way is patience. He does change directions of where he fires once in a while. In space. In space. So you can kind of jump in and get an extra shot. When he starts firing in the other direction. Patience. The dark side seduces you. It does. <laughs> it does. It says do it fast. Yeah, it does. But you don't want to. Who can? You only get one shot, really. Yeah, man. Patience. It only takes like 500 shots to kill him. Yeah. much more to this boss, though. Probably yeah. want to redesign the boss. Cause yeah. Because uh, it's a little too... I don't know. Samey? Like... Let's 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 see. Let's... Is that, is that it? Let's, that's 23. Let's find out. I You know. 23! Oh, sick, man! Fuck yeah! Did it! Woo! Yeah, that boss is a little underwhelming in comparison to everything else. Um, yeah, I would maybe reduce the height and you have him jump once in a while, maybe? Like yeah. on regular intervals, so you you don't have a spa safe space? Like, it's safe most of the time? Yeah. But sometimes he jumps up, so you have to move out of the way. Um, but, oh my god. Great game, hey, as always. So sick. Um, I'm glad I was able to finish what you've done so far. Yeah, man. Yeah. Each level brand new each level is so different from the last it keeps you on your toes and even if you've been through the level it's still hard um so congratulations vhzc i would definitely yeah i, I like your um idea of adding more levels yeah definitely sure. man um i mean it's not a short game how long did that take maybe 20 minutes yeah probably it's not long but it's not short but it, but I think that was about an hour of work to get to do it in twenty minutes. That's yeah, the thing to work your way up. Yeah, that I think is kind of one of the coolest things I like about Atari games is that uh, you know the actual like time to beat it. They feel like short stories almost. Yeah, they're uh, you know they they they're not as long, but also they're so challenging that you end up spending about as much uh, you know having a good <laughs> run at it because yeah. you have to learn. You know, an hour or two. Also, your skill is it. so much higher. So like, it games. would have taken me probably I probably could have beaten this one, but it would have been like double or triple the amount of time it would have taken mm. you. So like, it wouldn't have been great for the show. But if I was just in my house, kind of screwing around trying to do it, I bet you I could beat this game if I really committed to it. Yeah. Um, but definitely not in the speed that <laughs> yeah you can yeah. do it man yeah learn bd boulder dash <laughs> Ooh. yeah we made it to level four yeah and uh that's I a commitment to, to I was, learn i was down to the or cave four caves uh, d cave e is the checkpoint yeah um so i need to make it to cave e um 
the fourth one was a bunch of butterflies and I was down to the last two butterflies that I needed to kill um, so I was very close but I, we were like three hours into the show and I was like All right, we gotta That's gotta right. stop here so yeah older dash is going to be definitely um, coming up again for sure. I don't know when because we can't play Boulder Dash every show. Because people go, oh my god. Oh, this Boulder, Boulder Dash, Dash again. again. Yeah, it just gets to um, Finishing Boulder Dash will probably take a few more shows. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh, definitely, man. Oh, yeah. It's probably t at least two shows per chunk of levels. Yeah. And I think there's 16 or 20, 20 levels. So that makes like, sense. I'll probably, I'll probably only need one more show to make it to the first checkpoint. Because I'm pretty sure I, I've I'll be able to get get through that. Oh no, input. Is, no, we're not. On oh, that. we're not good. I, I turned off good. the system. Um, so great, uh, yeah. great games. So today. What were the ones again? Let's run through so, some mid space. Mid space is a very good start. Uh, I think with a couple tweaks, um, it could uh, elevate it a bit a bit more. Um, I maxed out the speed, so it does need to get faster for sure. Um, and just some bonus upgrades once yeah, in a while. Yeah, something little, little changes spice it up in a little there, bit. you know. We just need something to... Double to shots, faster shots. Levels. Yeah, levels, changes of color. I think those, just those little additions. And, and obviously a speed increase. Double ships, double-sided ships. All of a sudden it's like you shoot both ways for a bit. You know, it's just, oh, some, just some cool yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, you can, there's just ways to make it. And it, you're already collecting the wafers anyways. Like maybe you collect yeah, a wafer and special you get, wafer. And and uh, and <laughs> if you wanted to be truly trollish, if you collect the wafer, it's random dice roll. Some are good, some are bad. That's true. That would make a fun game. Yep. That would be a cool choice. Where things are backwards. Totally. You know, and, I mean, just and, take take that space game. And like, then you literally. do it for like sixty seconds. And so the yeah. fun thing is, is like you have to ask yourself, "Ooh, I'm doing well. Do I want to risk it? Yeah, I don't want to get something like like mostly good, but like one out of five is bad or Absolutely. something. Absolutely. So it's like, oh, it's worth it, but I'm gonna have to suffer sometimes. Yeah, yeah. you just don't know. So it's like, and that's re that would be really fun because it's like you know you could be. Yeah, mid space needs more enemies and variation. Correct. Exactly. It's yeah. really that simple. Yeah. And then laser keyboard is just really cool to see playing with this stuff, trying yeah. a different form. Um, I think it ramps up a little too much at the end because those fast ones you can get them, but eventually they'll just kill you because they're just too hard and it's definitely in that zone where it's a novelty game like you know yeah. what's cool about it is it's employing this technology we haven't really used but that unfortunately does get normalized very fast yeah. and, then, and then you're just sort of hitting buttons to kill things that are coming which is not to devalue that because that's like 99 percent of games yeah. but it just again needed something to sort of push it over the edge i did i did suggest in the forums that he shows like a little laser going out like yeah or something crushes the cars at those point because when you press a button you can't actually physically see the result on the screen it's hard to know what this what the where what the, it is yeah especially with the different so um, like a crush or a zap or you know, yeah so you can there. get a sense of what yeah that what would you're be, affecting be nice on the screen yeah um and also the one before i do think it would be nice to sh indicate where the top line of the of the, oh, of the yeah, board that was is a suggestion it did just either reduce the green line or extend the, where they bounce where it's they bounce just, up to it's the just top. a quality of life thing i mean we yeah. can figure it out and do it but it's much you know it is one of those things where it's like well show us the lint like show us the canvas you know yeah. what i mean it's where's like where's our play space like and i felt like i didn't you know and there's or a you can do it draw a line at the top totally like and then right you just, the you just know and yeah. that helps it's kind of like because i think as a gamer like what i crave is i want a playground to play within yeah. and i want to be, be know what that playground is and um obviously you can push that farther and you can do more things but i i do find it's that's the only things that annoy me when i'm like well is but this I, my playground exactly um, but i do implore somebody do a combination rpg game or any game not with this one actually with the star raider so you can do an overlay be so much fun man you're moving around with this and you're selecting items with this or whatever or if it's a multi um if you've got multiple people in your party you can do, let's say, three people in your party. The first row is who, who, yeah. who you want to do the the action, and one, two, three. Like, these are pretty soft. And I actually. didn't, I didn't, I was just bullshitting about it. But like, I guess it is. I should, I should just mention it that like, yeah. you know, I've been talking about it a lot. But if you are interested in RPGs, to me, I played 
almost every RPG that there is. Like, I'm an RPG guy. Baldur's Gate 2 is the benchmark for me of the really, really great. So, so if, if you're interested... They should in, study that one for mechanics? I would recommend just play the prologue. Just download and play the prologue, and then you can tell me what you think. If anyone does it, I would be over the moon to hear about it. But yeah. that's that's really... That's about... I don't think there's been a better RPG than that. That's about as good as it's as we've oh, really? managed to do. Yeah. And um and I love action RPGs for different reasons, but just the core basics of like translation. Um so yeah. Uh Actually if if they make people can choose which one they want to use. Yeah, totally. So they can use the clicky ones and have a little guide mm -hmm. beside it or you can make a huge overlay for the kids one. Actually, if you make yeah. it out of paper, it'll get destroyed. If you and and play buttons. a fighter if you do play it. It's going to be easier, trust me. You're going to go <laughs> crazy if you play a mage and you don't know. I always play fighter. And you don't know D&D &D rules or anything. You'll have way more fun. Just play like a... a this... Tanya always picks magic. And I always pick fighter. Yeah. Because I know fighter is easy to start. Same. Magic, it's it's a, just a slog to start. But when you get up to the higher levels, you just rule everything. Absolutely. Like, destroy. And what's cool is you get a party, so you'll meet people, like you'll meet mages, you'll meet... And they all have characters, they're all well-designed. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Nice. And actually, the other thing that's cool about it, which is no other game's done... Let's say someone has, like, a magical sword, and you fight mm. them. Mm -hmm. You can always pick up the sword. Oh, so it's yeah. like, y you have to work your ass off to, like, defeat someone. But mm. if you defeat them, you know you're getting absolutely what they have. Pickups are nice like that. Because a yeah. lot of times when you kill monsters, it's just a dice roll, and you're like, oh, so I just fought the hardest guy ever, and I got, like, a slingshot. It's like, yeah. no, if he's using a sword that, like, shoots fireballs, it's like, if you kill him, you'll get the fireball sword. That's not a sword in the game, but I'm just kind of just giving you an yeah. idea, which is... Whoops. There is one game coming up that is uh, alt. It's like a playoff oh, of yeah. Ultima. It's called Penult. Um, I think he might be able to use one of these to really good effect oh that would be awesome man. because there's a lot of different commands in ultima like talk or attack or any of those and they used it was a originally a um, pc or a computer game yeah and you have and the whole keyboard was used for it like every key on the keyboard so this might be a good substitute for at least 12 of those keys um and you can have multiple like one is like for attacking whatever or in different situations like if you're in combat mode these will all switch to the combat keys yeah right if you're in a town talking to people these would be a different one yeah so i'll have to i'll have to message him about that yeah man and and suggest that because it, it'll open up a whole a whole world for that and make it a lot easier um so that is what we have and for Peril today. And Peril is a great show, great game, man. Oh, yeah, I'm Peril, I'm such course. a big fan of your work, V. v oh, my God. It's I so... get excited every time he announces a game, like he's got that Endless Runner coming yeah. up as well. So I'm looking forward to playing that on the show. It's so definitely when you finish that VHZC, send that over. We'll premiere it on the show and give it give it a good go at it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it looks like it's almost ready. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> he's so... really quick because he reuses his engines, right? And it's all got his like his stamp, his oh, style. Yeah. You know, it's, it's great to very have... visually it's... like knowable. Like that is VHZCs. That's something that is so missing in a lot of you know AAA development is feeling like there's a voice behind the work. Yeah. You know, and that's what's so cool about these homebrew games is you really feel like I get a sense of your personality and your style. I think mm -hmm. it's you know, with with all our all our favorite programmers, you just feel that you know, it's like, oh, this is yeah. definitely I'm in a VHZC game right now. Oh, it's like yeah. there's no question, and I like that. I like this is probably one of the strongest voices. Oh yeah, the most clear yeah. and um, yet also the most versatile. I'm just yeah. I'm yeah, really... he he uses it like similarly, but warps it in a different way like totally. Roach in Space is totally different from all his other you know platformers and this helicopter one he's changed it from you you're know, right to sort of to be flying. like what genre is this it's like um underground I, flying helicopter genre it's, it's not a space shooter because you're not you're not free and it's you're sort of a trapped. puzzle game but not exactly it's cool it's, it's like it's puzzle own... elements yeah I, I you there know, must be a name for it but I'm nobody, sure. nobody typed it in in the chat but I'm sure there is a name yeah turquoise crab better than the spider less creepier than the spider um, hell yeah so thanks everybody for hanging out with us uh we'll be back for one more show before i go away for about a week and a half yeah that's crazy um so let me just check what i have i don't have anything lined up might bring boulder dash back again 
on Friday. Uh, what's that game you fly and put down di dynamite? It's Hero. That's an old school game. Okay, I don't know uh, that A very, one. very good game. We'll eventually get to that in the uh, Activision challenges, which you're never here for because yeah. I do them on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like Hero. Hero, you do walk along the ground, but you do a lot of flying. Um, good show. What I saw, we'll catch up on YouTube. Yeah, Sick, it was a lot. Man. It was a very fun show. Definitely, it's a cool. It was. It felt like a very like uh, aligned sort of theme of games. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes they're so different. This sort of felt like it was like there was a theme. It I don't was. know. It was. Yeah, it worked really well. I think yeah. the theme was lasers. There were a lot because of because everything had lasers. Like yeah. you know, mid space, you're shooting lasers, or they could be missiles. But let's well, say they're know. lasers. Laser keyboard, Peril had a ton of lasers. Yeah, Lightning totally. Bolts, and it just felt like a lot of, but but all unique in their own way. Yeah. So we'll be back on Friday, but then there's a short break for about a week and a half, and then I'll be back on the 23rd, which is another Friday. Oh, so this is the last show I'm doing for, for you for, for quite a for while, till the 28th for you. 28th? Oh my God, wow. So you're going to be in two weeks until we see you again on the show. I know. I get a little, it. Though. Little break, little rest, and get be... back to modern gaming for a bit. Ah, it's all good. <laughs> I haven't been playing as many games lately. Oh no, it's all Atari then, eh? Yeah, all Atari. I've just been working a lot, so yeah. I just have a lot. I just have a lot of stuff a lot I of need projects to do. On the go. Yeah. yeah, and it's also at that place where I'm like, you know, there's. It's not that I have. I still I have a fair amount of time, but I'm just reaching that point now in my life where I'm like, if I don't decide where to put my attention and put in the effort now exactly yeah. i'm gonna regret it so i'm just been like whenever i have free time i've just been doing yeah a lot of other stuff it's, i guess it's kind of like the difference between like slacking off and like no i'm actively <laughs> trying to get ahead yeah and i've been grind just grinding out some stuff which has been fun but but that's been filling up all my gaming time mm. but i also have um you know the, the game that i like playing path of exile has leagues and the league is dead oh, so okay. it's, it's a bit of a break now. it's a bit of a break and i set myself up for um uh because when the league is over all the st items and stuff i get will go back to the standard league um, okay. So I bought a bunch of stuff that I couldn't have gotten in standard because standard prices uh, are expensive. Okay, so, so it's worth it doing that. Yeah, because okay. there's two economies. So I played the economy, and at the moment, I just need to like really wait for it to transition over, and I'll have stuff to do. Because yeah. I can keep grinding, but it's not. There's no point yeah. anymore. So next show, there is a possibility that we might be able to play Lunar Lander. Oh, cool! Um, from uh, uh, Thomas Yentz. Not Thomas Yench? Lunar Lander. Thomas. No, not Thomas. Sorry, no. he's in here. He would have said that. Yeah. No, it's from... Uh, um, uh, 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 John Champeau. Yeah. Sorry. Not Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Champ, quick, thanks, get on dude. It. Thanks, guys. Thomas, quick, make Lunar Lander. Um, yeah, uh, John Champo said it's in a really good spot. I talked about it last episode. Damn. Um, so, yeah, Champ Games. Is it a, is it a um, uh, Tanya or Darcy Day uh, this Friday? This Friday is Darcy. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I will see if that is ready. He said it's it's he might need to be mm -hmm. do some changes on it. And if not, we'll obviously we'll probably have it when we come back from the break, which would be a cool return, a big game like that. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah. We'll be sad to, to sort of not see you guys for a yeah. couple weeks. Yeah, I mean, I'll um, be busy. I'll be. We'll both be busy. I'll be in uh, Dallas, Texas. If anybody lives in Dallas, Texas, nobody has said so so I'm, far. Um, I'm having a uh, the the Texas premiere of my documentary. Uh, which game was that? It was uh, Lunar Lander. Lunar Lander, uh, yeah. which is an Atari arcade game, um, and he had most of it done, and he is going to be going back and working on it and finishing it off. Wow. Uh, he started working on it like 10 years ago or something. Yeah. He's 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 a champ. <laughs> he's he's got to keep pushing yes. it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I've, I kind of want the summer to be over, but I also don't. What? Well, it's you hot know? right now. It'd be nice if it got a well, little cooler. Well, more the rhythm of it, right? Like, I like... Uh, I, I like the work. slowness? Yeah. It's, mm. I would just like things to... I'd like to go back to work, actually, um, in certain places. But... I also will not want to once work starts, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like, this... oh, I need the calmness of summer again. Exactly. Yeah. So I have to just appreciate where I'm at, I think. And that's that's yeah. not a, never easy to do. So it'll be nice to have a couple weeks off, I guess. 
Yeah. Because I can kind of enjoy the last little bits of summer. That's true. Do whatever you want. My sister's coming to visit, so. Oh, well, that's so good get timing. To, yeah, so it's been time with take her. you away from her. I was actually going to yeah. see if um, I could sneak around the show when she's here, but you're away, so it's not going to happen, which is, time out. which is yeah. all good. Yeah. <laughs> she's a hilarious, she's a gamer girl. She would love oh, it. She'd be there you go. over the moon. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but it's just timing, and well, if she's in town another time, we'll sneak her on. Yeah. I haven't seen her in, in like a year so it's like okay. yeah well so she lives elsewhere right yeah. so it's difficult um, so thanks everybody for hanging out Ice Bosta Thrust 26 yeah Impaler man Impaler 20s, Ground Trooper Dan AVC RC7E VHZC man and thanks thank for thank you for making that game and keeping making games big fan of your work man please oh, keep, huge keep going yep. I'm... Splendid Nut uh carl g oh i didn't see his hey. name pop up he said kitty <laughs> uh let's see repentless vg his, his, his priorities are, are aligned properly that's right he's all about the cats uh i think that was oh jesus, uh, jesus man. 98 yeah for making the first game Thank and thanks for letting much. us know about oh, your easter game, egg sorry. man like that was good we never would have yes. got that it's cool to get We're to see to all that stuff and, yeah uh anybody else that was mike up? mike bloke yeah. I don't recognize that name. No, that's 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 new. Oh, he's got Twitch Prime. Shit, man. Sick. Are you you're not subscribed though? Mm. Ah, where's your where's your prime going? Ah. Hey, no. It's true. <laughs> but that's funny that you can call out people. Yeah. That they have Twitch Prime but they haven't uh, uh given it to you. But that's okay. Oh man. There's the lots of lots of twitch streams that people um that hell people yeah and it's just cool that you guys come and hang out with oh, us. it is it still blows me away that anybody shows up and wants to watch us <laughs> watch us playing games i love it i we would be nobody without you guys yeah but really I, literally I, it's pretty it's pretty cool i'm always just like every time i come over i'm like is this the day no one's gonna be here and it's never <laughs> it's you guys are always here engaged and thank you it means yeah. a lot to me nice setup well thank you um yeah. yeah it's it's we try and make it you know video gamey and um, yeah it feels like uh we've got a nice atari here upscale to to nice rgb output to the frame meister so got a little lighting thing. setup you know yep, we've got professional nice little lighting. mic yeah nice microphone i still think we should do a tour at some point we keep saying that but, but like, uh, i fucked it up no oh, it's all good awesome. yeah i'll have to we'll have to do maybe For, a live tour i mean i don't like doing it takes so long to do edited videos. That... Yeah, we'd be better off to do a live one, and we just yeah. basically like plug, all, and I can just do the camera, and you can just you know, yeah. we can just do that at some point. What we'll yeah. go through, and you can just show show off all your consoles and all the yeah, stuff we'll you got. Yeah, we'll take take the camera off the tripod. Um, Engineers show around in the real room. life. I wish, man. No, we'd be paid a lot more. Yeah, we'd be paid <laughs> quite a bit more. Uh, um, no, we're filmmakers. Yeah, in yeah. In real life. So I, I direct and write movies, and I also do color correction, and then I also teach storytelling and filmmaking and all this stuff. So yeah. it's cool to be on the show because I get to bring my thinking about that, yeah. but I also, at the same time, I get to be a little kid because I don't know anything about this stuff. Yeah. So it's, And I'm a producer and editor, so the producing side comes into like putting the show together, yeah. reaching out to developers, um, getting their games on the show, doing special events like we did the 12 hour marathon and we did the 2019 2018 atari awards yeah which are going to be coming up again in around february 2020 2020 oh, 2020 so that's cool we need better movies we sure certainly well, do man stay away from the theaters and you will see better movies um <laughs> because mostly the garbage goes into theaters now, unfortunately, unfortunately a lot of great netflix originals lots yeah. of great tv you know yeah just search out you know, stuff that doesn't involve robots. And yeah. And you might be better off and in, in find all, some good movies. There's a lot out there. It's, in all honesty, it's it's like the two More worlds. More than ever, actually. Yeah, and the two, the two worlds I live in professionally, the like writing professionally and directing professionally, it's like directing is like features, commercials, and writing is TV. Like if I wanted to make a living as a writer, yeah. I'd, I'd just have to do TV because... Yeah. that's where everything cool is being done like it is like i i can list like like five great t ongoing tv shows yeah. and like how many great features can you mention that come out like other than like directors many. And, the, yeah the tv shows are really taking over yeah um, and it's because just, they have uh, more room totally. to play they don't have constraints of time they don't have commercial breaks Absolutely. Um, they can make it six episodes they can make it 20 episodes it's like whatever they're they're making it work with the story rather than making it work within the confines of 
Absolutely. Uh, the money in terms of commercials. And it's also a commitment. Oh, thing. Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver is an amazing movie, That's a man. Really I love that good movie. movie. Scorsese and De Niro. Um, that's not... I was in New York and they had the Taxi Driver poster, like the big yeah. one. And that is definitely on my list to buy, but it's about $3,000 for, for the poster. And, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous one, painted poster. One of the things about Taxi Driver is that that was one of the first times we saw night exteriors that oh. were actually real. Because not back, not, uh, what is it? Well, a lot, a lot of the time they do them in a studio, right? Yeah, because with a film in behind. Or, or like a rear screen. screen. It was like they rear, actually... Rear screen projection, that's what Yeah, they that's actually put lights in the car and shot in locations where yeah. things could work. And they were very creative about it. So it, it's, it gave it the perfect feel for that film because it was gritty. It was dark. It, it had the grain, probably. A absolutely. lot of grain, right? So it had that realism that really lent itself well. And, and you got the feel of dirties, 70s, uh, streets New York streets and, and taxi cabs and the, the griminess before they cleaned it up. You go to New York and it's Disneyland now Yep, and in, it, in Times Square. That's what it was in Taxi Driver. That, they're not making that up. No, That's what it's it was like in the real 70s locations. And, and the hardest shit in the world to film is car stuff. Car stuff is oh, you're horrible. Moving, you've got to get gotta it. mount it to the thing. you got to block off streets. And, it's, yeah. So it's a mind-blowing film because of the technology they're doing at the time. It's also just a great story. Um, yeah. But that aesthetic is what I really take away from that movie yeah. more than anything else. And De Niro. We digress. Well, yeah. He asked <laughs> us some cool questions. About, yeah. Um, uh, so we'll be back on, uh, well, I will be back with Darcy on Friday. This guy will be back on the 28th for a while. So put that in your calendar. Yeah. And then we're, and then the fall. Will be <laughs> oh yeah. It's like and it'll September cool, and it'll cool down and we won't have to, to wear some... shorts and have cameras overheat. Oh and, God. And, um, soon I'll be getting a new camera. Yeah. Which is And dope. it'll be like the one we used in the 12 hour marathon and it won't overheat and it'll have a uh, much better uh, look to it actually. Yeah, a slightly different range and some more yeah. options. Which well, really I don't know nice. what lens I'll have though. <laughs> yeah, you'll have <laughs> to I, figure I'll out. I don't know if I have mon much money for a lens, but I do have a 50 millimeter. Ah, you can just get an adapter. Well, and beyond this goes to 50 and 16. And well, you've got your you've got your 28 to 70. It's and, damaged a bit. And you can put on like an I think adapter. it's focal planes or like because it's been warped. dropped. It's it's they're not flat so there's like there's a little bit out of focus in corners and stuff yeah you can but try we'll it, it but i do have a wide angle but it was the wide angle that we used it's terrible wide angle uh, yeah you you uh, wanna terrible well you know, we can we'll make it work i've, I've still got this lens you still have that lens and which has been has been working fine so you probably won't notice any difference actually because <laughs> we won't be doing it in 4k because that's a big waste no it doesn't, it doesn't make sense benefit for, any for broadcast or anything the, the Atari game is not going to look any better. Yeah, I have a new camera and I've been doing lots of tests with it and it's amazing, but it's also like at a certain point, um, you can get superior image quality, but there reaches a point where it's like there's actually no point, like the amount of work you have to do. Like for a fictional yeah. film, it would make a lot of sense because yes. it's like you are putting so much work, but for something like this, it's like... Well, Oof, no. God, yeah, use so. the right setting for the right application. Anyway, we blabbed on enough. Oh, so, yeah. Um, the end of the show. It's yeah. good shit. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back in two days on Friday with um, some great, more more great uh, Atari 2600 oh God, homebrew. Yeah. And uh, you guys have a have a really great... Um, rest of the week. Yeah, man. And we'll see you on Friday for the weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Boca Loca, for jumping in at the last second. I love it. And see you later. Bye-bye.